Wow, yes. we're here with the medium, and it's me, Chip Cheesem. That's me. <laughs> and soon, sorry, I was checking. arriving in the the room with me. <laughs> I was checking the audio. That it was happening. <laughs> Who is it? It's Boy Burger. Hello. Hi. <laughs> Oh, I hope everyone's having a swell time because it's about to get ruined. Yeah. Um. So I think we should start on a high note with a geek gamer question. Yeah, here's the best part of the we, stream. We are about halfway through this stack of geek gamer trivia cards that we were gifted as a stocking stuffer. Mm-hmm. Uh, this is our Valentine's Day stream, isn't it? <laughs> this is our romantic choice. I, yeah, I it. guess it is. Um, and we're about halfway through with these hundred questions of geek gamer trivia. And, uh, your fucking question is oh boy. another real softball one. Oh boy. What was the first commercially successful video game? What? <laughs> Pong. Yeah. Can you believe that's multiple fucking choice? What are the other choices? <laughs> uh, okay, we'll do that, Barbasol Embryos. The other choices are Asteroids, Pac-Man, Pong, and Super Mario Brothers. Oh boy. Yep. <laughs> Let's just list all the games that everyone knows the name of. Yep. So, cool. You do one for me, I bet it's something right. fucking obscure that I don't know about. So, separate from the, the, the Geek Gamer card I just picked up, uh, I... The, that question reminds me. Mm -hmm. Like, there's still so many, like, news stories. Anytime, like, people who are not into the video games have to write or the video talk games. about video games. They always go like, you know, video games have come a long way since Pong. And that's that's the way every fucking one of those stories <laughs> it's starts. Just Pong, yeah. How long, I'm, how many years is it gonna take before that finally fucking phases out? I think all the people that know about Pong will have to die. I, th I think it'll have to be like. <laughs> we'll be the last generation that knows what Pong is. Uh, I guess so, huh? Uh. Anyways, here's your question. Yeah, what's my question? Is it hard? <laughs> I, I think you can probably get this one. Right. Uh, I'll let you down. Oh, they spelled color with a O-U. Ooh, fancy. Uh, what Canadian. Co what color is the ring of death on an Xbox 360 that signifies a hardware failure? It's red. Yeah, yeah. correct. You got it. Is it multiple choice? No. Oh, okay. At least it's not multiple choice. Okay, well, there, there's that. Um, anyway, I feel like we should recap what has happened in the medium? <laughs> What's the <laughs> plot of the medium? So we've got uh, Marianne here who... Marianne. Uh, uh, who, by the way, cannot go back to the garage that I came from, even though there's nothing in the way of me. Yeah. Um, so Marianne, at the start of the game, uh, she... Uh, buries her foster She dad. buries her foster father, Jack. Gets uh, a phone call from Thomas. Who we find out way later is, is our, her dad. Our dad. Real from like, the, from the seventies. Yeah, from the seventies. Which this is by in the, the 90s. way, if they, they kept that a secret, I wanna know fucking why. Because that would have been a good narrative it's hook. It's a, a hook, yeah. It would have been a good hook. I wanna know that we're just going here because some mysterious dude said we should. Isn't it more yeah. interesting to go somewhere because you're, My you're, dad was on the phone. I've never burying, speak, spoken to him before. You're burying. You're. 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 Well, you're not burying. He's just in the fucking morgue. And you put a goddamn tie on him. Yeah. You. Uh, you. And then you your use dad. your your ghost powers to go into the hell dimension to say goodbye to your dad's soul or whatever. Uh, your foster dad, not your, your real, foster not your bio soul. dad. But yeah, it's just like immediately after you say goodbye to your foster dad and you know, try to you know, usher his soul onto the next plane of existence or whatever, and then it's like, oh, beep, boop, boop, ring, ring, hey, it's your real dad. But he doesn't say that. We yeah, don't know that he doesn't. Later. I'm just saying, like. Yeah, I'm just saying that uh, that's bullshit and they should have just fucking, they just should have just fucking told us that it was our real dad because it would have been fucking interesting. Yeah. But anyway, he says to go to this fucked up hotel or resort or something, and we don't know why. And we still don't really know why. Yeah. Um, but we found a little spooky girl who's a ghost named Sadness. She's our sister, we find out later. Which also would have been more interesting if you learned that sooner. Because yeah. then we would have been more compelled to help her. Just saying. Like, there's no there's no emotional through line no. to this narrative. And it's fucking really frustrating. Um, and yeah, the mystery does not make the story more interesting. You're right, uh, Pazuzu. Um, but, so... There was some sort of massacre at Niwa. We later find out that there was a guy named 
Henry. Well, first of all, Richard exists. Richard is a pedophile, and be he's a pedophile because of Holocaust reasons. But the Holocaust reasons are really, really ancillary to why he's a pedophile. But it's supposed to make us feel bad for him, which is really classy. Yeah. Um, his childlike first love died for Holocaust reasons because his mom ratted out his stepdad, who was evil and bad, who and was yelled abusive. at him. He was an abusive father who also wanted was sheltering Jewish people from the Nazis. Yeah, so he's not that bad of a guy, right? Uh, but so, okay, abusive dad, but sheltering Jews from the Nazi stuff. He gets ratted out by his wife because he's abusive. Fucking okay, that's dumb. That inadvertently kills the child love of Richard, who becomes a pedophile later in life because the darkness catches him at that time yes. in his life, and you cannot heal the darkness. It's just going to get you eventually, which is really cool. If you're a person who has suffered trauma or anything throughout your life, you are just going to get possessed by a demon that makes you an evil person. Yeah, so... And the game implies the only way to fix that is to kill people who have experienced trauma so that they don't become pedophiles or whatever. Which is uh, bonkers for lots of that fucking is insane, reasons. Yeah. So... Uh, if you don't know, uh, content warning for lots of upsetting garbage that makes no sense. Um, also we find out about Henry, who is a guy who ratted out his own dad to the socialist, uh, Chick Track-esque cartoon characters of Poland's past during mm -hmm. the occupation or something like that. I don't know. Were they occupied? I'm an American. I don't fucking know any of this shit. Um, and the game made no effort to get across any of this historical information to me. So, as a result, I'm kind of rudderless in what this all, like, means in a, in a, it's kind of relying on the accepted and known traumas of that era that I was not privy to as someone who was born after it in a totally different country who had a poor education on the matter. So, yeah. we've got the, we went to a whole flashback heck world in Henry's mind, while we're playing as Thomas, we're playing as Thomas Mary Ann's dad in, in the flashbacks. Past. In the past. We're doing Psychonauts bullshit. We do that to Richard first so that we can kill, we uh, kill the, him. the pedophile guy. But uh, what actually happens is it makes him catatonic in a wheelchair for the rest of his yes, life. Yes, and then a, a nurse abuses him. Yeah, which is cool too, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. <clears throat> uh, but yeah, we do Psychonaut shit as Thomas in flashbacks. Uh, and yeah, he's been captured by Henry because uh, uh, Russia is very interested in in Thomas's supernatural ghost powers. Mm. Uh, and I think and Henry lives at Niwa, the resort. I think with, uh, but with Lily. Yeah. After no, after this burns down, I don't no, know. No, no. But their Henry, house got burned. Henry burned down their Henry house. Henry burned down this house with Thomas's family in the house still and, to try and get yeah. Thomas to crack and tell. Henry about how his ghost powers work and to, sh to show him the powers. So you do all that Psychonauts bullshit to to try to like kill him in also, his brain. Also his brain is like a political cartoon, it's a political cartoon about yeah. socialism and as somebody who's not experienced like the really goofy red scare socialism and like modern Americans like us think that shit is cartoony as fucking weird. That does not resonate as interesting or scary yeah. <laughs> to us so we're just confused. It's goofy. Um, and yeah, the house gets burnt down. She gets burns over 30% of her body. I think that causes her, this has not been discussed yet, but I think that causes her to have the psychic splitting powers because it's a little too much like Alessa Gillespie. Yeah. Um, and her sister, I think, does not die, but also gets powers because they were talking, little kids were talking in flashbacks about how she was talking to her imaginary friends or something like that. Yeah. So I think she got ghost medium powers too. Uh, she dies though, right? I mean, she's dead, but I mean, I don't she's remember dead. how she dies, Lily. I don't remember. Maybe we'll find out later. Um, and then the, we had a cutscene boss fight with Henry who looked like a dog man with a skull. Um, and he monologued a lot about how maybe our dad is the bad man. Yeah. So that's where we are. Hope you can follow all that. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know, man. Also, I think Richard was not literally Marianne's uncle, but a friend of Thomas's. Yeah. I don't think they're actually related, but Lily called her uncle Richard. Uh-huh. Yeah. 
Anyway, we have drinks. Um, yeah, we got drinks. I, I'm just drinking some absolute pear vodka. I love it. Delicious. My I've favorite. got like coconut rum mixed with V8 juice. You know, tropical V8 juice, not like the weird. Yeah, uh, not the tomato, tomato shit. shit. This is like you know peach flavored or fucking whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so it's pretty good. So, uh, yeah, man. Uh, also. For all you viewers here who were watching the stream last time, we bumped up the game's brightness a fuckload. A fuckload. So the the how dark the game was last time, uh, granted it was appearing darker on certain devices for some it fucking was. reason. Yeah, when I when I actually um, um, exported it as a vod, uh, fucking couldn't see shit. Had to up the gamma. Yeah. Somebody said I should. Oh, go into the house uh, go into and the out house, of body. Out of body, but I can't. Uh, yeah, the, apparently they patched it. Oh yeah, I can't do it. Uh, yeah, continue your thought before I go in here. Sorry, what was I saying? I got attacked by the chat, too. I got distracted by the chat. What was I saying? I don't right know. Before this? <laughs> God damn it. Well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> the game the was super... The game, yeah, w the, the <laughs> game's default brightness makes it almost impossible to see in video, or at least in just only the last stream and not the previous two for some fucking reason. Mm. Uh, so we cranked up the brightness like three times. Yeah, the so, blacks are ugly now. Yeah, everything's okay, kind of washed out looking, but... Focus. Yay! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> There's gotta be something here. Also, these fucking chivos are unceasing. <laughs> Sorry, was there a dot floating back where you were, or is that just the door no, that's, dot? That's the door. That's the mirror dot. Man, the I do hate the, these dots. The dots for some interactable things appearing through walls and shit when you're farther away from them makes it seem like Mad. there's more shit to interact with than there actually is. It's maddening to me. I fucking hate I don't know. it. Jesus Christ, okay. Well. Hey, what's, what's in the rest of the house first? Yeah, I'm gonna look at the rest of the house first. Got some boring stuff? All burnt up, but I can still make out some of it. Yeah, it's butterflies, it's not words, bitch. <laughs> also, the butterfly imagery is also stolen from Silent Hill 1, just fucking saying. Yeah. The family photo. <laughs> it's sad to see it like this. Left behind. Forgotten. Not remembered. By the way, uh, ap apologies if you can hear it through our mic, but uh, our upstairs neighbor uh, decided now is the time to start playing a lot of bass heavy music that's uh, yeah, man. cutting right through the roof. It's Saturday night, it's Valentine's so. weekend, maybe we'll hear somebody fucking. Who oh knows? no. Oh boy. If it were like four neighbors ago, then yes, we would. <laughs> Every Valentine's Day, man, that guy got laid. Yep. In a dramatic way. Oh, you, nobody hears it? Okay, cool. Great. You wanna read? Sure. I can't stand the look she gives her. She hates her because of what happened to you. She thinks it's her fault, as if she did it on purpose. She's still too young. She needs time to understand, but sometimes I'm afraid. Afraid she'll do something to her. I keep telling myself she would never, but then again, I know better than anyone. Everyone has their demons. Cool. Okay. Okay. Yeah, man. From no one to no one. <laughs> written by who cares? For no reason. Why is it even written down, <laughs> you know? I like the interactable dot that's really low to the floor if you go back to that previous angle. See it? Bottom right. Oh, what the fuck's that? Boop. Where, what is that? <laughs> oh my god, it's like in the basement or something. Yeah. <laughs> cool, yeah. Another photo. Somehow it feels wrong to just leave them lying around. Somehow it feels- You already said that, like, basically. Somehow, like, for some reason, this feels wrong to just, like... <sighs> if this is just, like, really boring urbexing, the game. Because, like, if you yeah. go urbexing, you just find garbage like this, and you're just like, oh, interesting, it's really neat how this feels like a little limin liminal space, people used to live here, but for some reason, this game does not feel... Like a liminal space. It does no. not feel like someone lived here, like no matter when, how many fucking photos you put on the ground. Like, when we were going through Neva, it feels like a, uh, a set, like it was 
Like, even though everything <laughs> is, everything looks all deteriorated, like it's taken, you know, 20 years or whatever to, to get to the cur the state it's currently in, it just feels like somebody made a movie set that looks like that. <laughs> or boring. Yeah. Yeah. A big donut. Thanks for the sub, Hell Chief. Hell Chef, sorry. I don't think we have the donations on today because, God, this game is, like, a lot to take in in yeah. a lot of ways. Uh, but also, visually, to, yeah. to be honest, I would hate it if we were going through another part that's just like talking about pedophilia or the Holocaust. Yeah, and some and, goofball gave me a bunch and, of songs. And, and, <laughs> and then, and then we hear, "I do so love making butter," or whatever that <laughs> I one. I do notification enjoy is. making butter. <laughs> yeah, like I would hate that. I feel like I should find somewhere to put it. Yeah, I fucking I know. Also, this dude looks like the dude from Remedy that plays Mr. Scratch. Like he looks like oh, Mr. Yeah. Scratch. Like yeah. He really does. Oh, good thing they're all different sizes and shapes. This will be a really easy puzzle when we find a place to put these things. A big donut asking, did we find the Screaming Holocaust shoe? Yeah, yeah quite a while ago. Yeah, that was ago. early. That was early on. Mm-hmm. They go here. I bet yep. it's not even in an order. Yeah, you just put them there. I bet you just put them there. Doesn't matter. How about this one? Fucking, I don't know. This doesn't feel right. <laughs> Maybe I should try different. Wow, there's only, okay, how many orders is there? There's only nine p possible orders. Mm -hmm. So you could just brute force it. But I'm going to give the game the benefit of the doubt. I'm going to look for clues. Uh huh. There's probably a number one on one of these or something. If it's just. Oh, it's, is this going to be like one, two, three, four? It's just going to be in. Oh, it's, it's just the amount of people in the photo. It's just going to be uh, in a. I was going to say, uh, the, <laughs> this reminds me of um, in Duke Nukem 3D. Uh, there are some levels that have like puzzles in them, but it's always just like a row of X amount of buttons that you shoot trial and error until you find the right order. Mm -hmm. The Rekovich family history. Uh huh. Whoa, whoa. Okay, well, good thing we tell linear time in my culture the same way you do mm -hmm. <laughs> from left to right. Um, that's the first like puzzle I've seen in this game. Like, yeah, that, that didn't. That I would actually consider to be a puzzle, and she didn't give me an outright fucking here's how you do it hint. That was a normal, very easy, but I would actually call that a puzzle. All the other things I, bet, I would not call a puzzle. It was just an obstacle. I bet. Also, if I don't you, know why I did that, but okay. I bet if you put the photos down wrong for a second time, she would just straight up tell you what to I, do. I bet if you go to the other world, it just has the shapes on the wall. Uh, and that's how you, how you do that thing. Do that thing. Is it a dollhouse? <laughs> no, it's just, it's a real house. It's a gingerbread house. It's a house for ants. Locked? Maybe there's a Locked? It's Punch fucking it. open on the top, huh? <laughs> Kazoo Nights. Locked. Like, punch it. I can't just get rip through. Rip it open. I can't get what? through. It's uh, impossible. It's not happening. Pick up All any... Right. Let's see what's on the flip side of this. On oh, the flip side, like you were, you can't backtrack to it, but you just passed through a garage full of tools. You can just pry <laughs> things open with. There is a claw hammer. I'm pretty sure there's a crowbar. I have a razor blade. You can just jam in there and wiggle. I don't know why I still have this cat. Oh, I don't but know. But I do. Um, I don't know what happened to the bolt cutters. We don't have them anymore. Could have used that. Oh, yeah. Remember the bolt cutters? Good times. Yes, it was definitely so satisfying to find those bolt <laughs> so cutters. So satisfying. I like the uh, the yellow and the red here, but it's yeah. just it's just nice to see a different color, I guess. <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh, it's just the key. Oh, it's yeah. It's the answer key. Yeah. It's strange. It's like feeling. Feelings. Feelings. Etched into the wall. Feelings. Oh, since you already did it, guess we can just pick up that mask. Yeah, give me that fucking garbage. This looks eerily familiar. Oh my fucking god, how dumb do you think I am? It's fucking Lily. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> god damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Alright, and I jam I jam my knife in this this tummy. I think Blah Moo Moo in the chat is right that we only have the bolt cutters in normal dimension. We have the knife in this one. But I wasn't in, I was in the normal dimension when I complained about it. And there's no it. bolt cutters in that? Yeah, oh, no. Yeah. yeah, never mind. And also I have everything that I had, but I just can't use them in the other, I don't know, okay. whatever. It, game's bad. <laughs> why is there a reticle stuck in the middle of the screen right now? I don't know why there's a reticle I think that's here. a bug. Because <laughs> that reticle pops up when you're like investigating stuff, but it yeah. should go away. I don't know, it's wigging me out. Oh, I can't leave. 
I brought this up on Twitter, but uh, I want to bring it up again. Uh, there's a giant Bob Quick look of this that is hilarious because um, it's Jeff Bacalar and Alex Navarro, whom I love. And uh, they were like, oh, it's really neat that they're using, they're going back to like survival horror roots. They got the fixed camera angles. Those are really neat. And then they proceeded to spend 15, no wait, 10, I shit you not, 10 minutes effectively lost in two rooms because the camera was blocking the view of the exit. Yeah. And I, th I, I thought that was just way too good. It's way too funny. Anyway, yeah, here's my shit. Oh, they show it up now. Yeah. What it's the only, fuck? It's only the real world where you have the bolt no, cutters. No, I was in the real world. I was in this world. What? I was in this world when I complained about not having bolt cutters uh -huh. because I was complaining about I have bolt cutters but I can't the use them to house. open this. It's open. Oh, okay. Yeah, but when I went to my inventory, it was acting like it was Otherworld's inventory. So uh, they didn't really fix this bug. Hmm. It's the Otherworld's inventory, so it had, the, it had the goofy knife. And I was like, oh, I could use the knife to pry open the thing. It's open because I opened it in the Otherworld. Pay attention, uh, folks in the chat. <laughs> it looks like a replica of the actual house. Fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy. <laughs> also, you think the skin cutting thing like is cesarean and that's how my mom died? Uh, oh, what'd that dumb bitch say? <laughs> I, I did not it hear matter. it over what you were saying. A oh my god, okay, we're just gonna warp around the house with the mirror. I get yep. it, I get it. Sure, 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 sure fine. Strange. Shut up. I know, I get like it. You don't, shifted. you don't have to tell me. I understand. I play video games, it's fine. <laughs> I knew it. Yeah, I know, yeah. The dolls, <laughs> the mirrors. It's all connected. Oh my god, she's the dumbest protagonist the ever. Very familiar. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> yeah, baby. This one looks tough. <laughs> Don't think I can cut through. All right. Well, I don't think this goes on here. Mask of joy. Time to take a goddamn nap because this game is so boring. Locked. Four slots. Yeah, I, mm -hmm. yeah. I guess that means. I can tell! Mm. They're on the foot. <laughs> I guess. I guess that means four butterflies. Fuck you. Fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. Hurry up. Wow, that was a little bit faster than the other ones. Ornate butterfly. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Bob is here. Hello, Bob. Hi, Bob. And he says, this reminds me so much of Hell House from Silent Hill Homecoming, I regret, and I regret not... Oh, it does, doesn't it? ...not saying that on my stream. It does It does feel like... Mmm. Mmm. You are so right. Can I just take one of these? I mean, one of them is a butterfly, so why can't I just take one that's not damaged? But, you know, whatever, dog. Who boy? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, here it goes. This room. It feels like it's pushing me out. Like it doesn't want me here. It does. I. She says these things, but the rooms convey none of that visually. It looks the same as the other rooms we've been in. Oh, fishy recently. for my little cat. Wait. I don't think this belongs here. I love the fishes because it's so delicious. Bob says, hello, friends. Just imagine me dancing like I was in the v in VR the other day. Happy <laughs> thoughts, happy thoughts. Happy thoughts. Let her rip. <laughs> it's ugly. Hey. Another one of those butterflies. Yeah, man. Fucking crazy that there's four of them to collect. <laughs> 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 Fucking nuts. I, I hate you. Me too. All of you. None of you know. None of you understand. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Troy Baker, get out of here. I'm talking about you too. <laughs> Slide. Slide. Another mask. Oh my god, they stole this from Homecoming. Oh! <gasps> Sadness talked about. Dude! Wait, what part of Homecoming is this? Okay, so when you're in Alex's house and it turns into Otherworld House, you have to collect 
three or four masks just like this, and they all depict different moods of your mom, who oh, like, who yeah. she she was like complicit in the whole situation happening yeah. there. Oh my God, mask of joy, mask of calm. Cause like, there was a fucking riddle about this that was like, your mom hid this emotion behind right, this calm face. Right. I just cannot believe this shit. Oh my fucking God. Do they not have plagiarism as a concept in Poland? Like, <laughs> this is where I'm at at this point, you know? Like, fucking, I just, like, do they not punish kids in Poland for plagiarizing mm. essays? Do they not care about that? I think it's less a Polish thing and more just Bloober Something. itself I, it's, is. I just want to, I want to be like, oh, let's not blame the dev. Maybe it's a cultural thing that I don't understand. Or I think you know. this is all on Bloober. Fuck. Or at least specific creative people in Bloober. Why would you copy the Hell House segment? It's stupid. It's the weakest, weirdest part of that game, perhaps, besides the sewer level. <laughs> what is this? A tea party with the devil? <sighs> Kill yeah. me. Fucking shut the fuck up. <laughs> I'm sorry I'm like starting this already mad, but I'm like, I'm, I'm fed up to here with this game. This game is the dumbest shit ever. It thinks it's really clever and cute and smart and people should love it or something. And I'm just like beyond done with this. You get the fish, um, you get the <laughs> butterfly. <laughs> yeah, I don't know who goes where. We don't have- I understand. <laughs> Your pain. What okay. the hell? I guess that's right. What the hell? That is just, you can only put it in the correct yeah, spot. There's no puzzle here. We can show them. Amazing. We can make them understand. <laughs> make them feel what it's like. Are you done, Troy? <laughs> oh my fucking god, dude. Dude, <laughs> Troy Baker, I don't know what. <laughs> Not over the Troy Baker voice is too fucking funny. Mm -hmm. It's way too fucking funny. Okay, so I found one in the other world here. I found the I found the calm. I found the joy one here. So I d haven't found one in the other room yet. So I'm gonna guess I go there, because I haven't found one there yet. Hmm. Masks. I think I'll get a butterfly from the masks. But this one's too tough. Oh, the fishy goes here. I don't need her! She took my mom away from me! I hate her! I wish she was dead! Normal? Lily, I... No, it was not my fault. Normal. What the hell's happening to me? Oh, well, there's fan art, fan art from, from... Regina Catbat. <laughs> I'm a thespian! <laughs> Oh my god, that's a brilliant, brilliant fan art of a real dumb guy. Thank you. It's good. It's good. <laughs> I will put that at the end of the VOD, so you won't be seeing it on the stream, but you'll see it at the end if you're watching this on YouTube. Someone talked to me about this copyright thing after I made my blooper video. Apparently it's an Eastern European thing where priorities put on copying established working concepts. You know what? That is true. I have friends from the escape room industry, and Eastern Europe is all about stealing ideas to use for escape rooms. Yeah. Because copyright is just different in Eastern, like, I don't know, it's treated differently in Eastern Europe and also in Asia. Like, you'll just find a ton of, like, the Joker's Lair, but it's like in America, you'll get fucking sued if you make something called the Joker's Lair, yeah. for the most part, unless it's from a Russian or Eastern European company. I'm friendly with the local escape room. <laughs> Done some work for them. Prop stuff. They're fun. So, I got another butterfly. But I only have three, right? 
yeah. Mm -hmm. the well, you'll get the hold. you'll get the other butterfly by slotting the last mask in, right? I'm not sure if I'll get a mask from slotting the last butterfly in, or if I'll get a butterfly from slotting the last mask in. Well, we got the we got the mask, don't we? No, we, just, we need no? one more. Okay, I'm sorry. For some reason, I was looking at Chan. I thought you picked up a mask instead of the butterfly. Yeah. Well, good thing they're shaped exactly the way that they <laughs> are. That would be that would have been like you know a puzzle otherwise. Remember when you had to like read stuff to like do a puzzle? Mm hmm. I don't know. Call me old fashioned, but. I ran away from it after cutting the thing open. Which thing? The thing I just cut open? No, I got that one. There's a lot of things to cut open here. Maybe it was down here. Maybe I just cut this open and was just like, fuck it, I'm gone. And oh yeah, there's totally ways of like you know copying, quote unquote, copying pre-existing things. Hey, there it is. The last. Easy to miss, because I was just like, let's get out of here. This obviously gave me something in the real world. Let's beat it. <laughs> there's very few original ideas, and everything is just a remix different of remakes yeah. of something else. But uh, there's, you know, better. Uh, executions of ideas building off previous ideas than this game. Yeah. It's the wrong room, baby. It's also, you know, I would even argue there's a difference between wearing your inspirations on your sleeves and this game, even. Mm hmm. All, all of Kojima's games are very clearly him going like I like X X X X yeah. and, and and this I'm gonna jam all of them into one th this game I'm working on yeah. and you know Metal Gear is still its own thing despite being highly derivative uh, of other things. derivative of a lot of eighties action movies and sci fi stuff because it still remixes it yeah save yourself let me help you <gasps> what about her leave her <laughs> let her burn. <gasps> Troy. Oh That's three. This place is like an emotional grave here. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking shut up. Fucking lol. This is where all the emotions go to die. <laughs> This game is a Can fucking we, emotional graveyard because I, know we, I don't feel anything! I know you already streamed a full playthrough of Control pre-DLC, but can we just play through Control again instead? I'd love to. Like, I saw you looking through, uh... Oh, thanks, Arp. I got lots of water here. Um, I saw you playing through just a tiny bit of Control, and I was listening to Jesse talk about stuff, and I was like, oh man, I don't know what, what it is, but... She... she's great. And they're clearly trying to, to do a Jesse here, and it's just fucking bad. It's so bad. It helps that Jesse isn't uh, she, dumb. This bitch, this bitch looks so much like Jesse, by the way. She's dressed almost the same. She's got like the same sort of tied back hair situation. Yeah, she seems like, inspired by Jesse, maybe. Yeah. Except she's way less bisexual, man. It's a, a disappointment. <laughs> Brad Shoemaker in the chat says, I saw one of the medium's writers actually saying, this looks familiar about control. What, really? What do you mean familiar? <laughs> what are they implying? That control is stealing from them or that they acknowledge that they're stealing from control? Either way, it's bad. But, but I can't leave her here. She'll die. <laughs> Remember, mommy. <laughs> it's all her fault. No, no, no! She's my sister. <laughs> then set me free, and I will save you both. <laughs> <laughs> ah, shit. ah, shield, shield. <laughs> I, ca I can't. Oh, you can't. I don't, I don't have energy. Okay, well, I guess you just gotta leave then. Oh, well. Maybe. I can't. I'm oh, just gonna sick. have to get eaten by the moths. What? I don't have a spirit shield! What? I didn't... Uh, okay. Huh? 
<laughs> it uh, happened to Bobtail. <laughs> yeah. Energy ain't energy. I don't have it charged. I don't remember seeing any place I could charge it. RB does not work if I'm not fucking charged yeah, up. Yeah, your arm isn't lit up. My so. arm ain't lit up. I don't know where to get that. I didn't. I have not seen any in this game. Is there some that I just don't know about somewhere in the house? It'd be funny if like the basement is like down here. That looks oddly familiar. Control. What are they talking about? Greg Zorgs. <laughs> Gregor. Grzegor, <laughs> what are you saying? Hum. I don't know what yeah. he means. I don't know what he means. Like, what does that mean? And I can't go down in the basement, even though there's a fucking no. dot down there. There, there's no, there's no well, so I can't. I don't. Tee hee hee. What is he talking about? Let's fucking shut up. <laughs> like, why is he admitting to stealing things? Like, <laughs> huh? He's admitting that he stole from. Control. Why can't I go this way? Why is there a bone fence here? I could step over this. Step over the bone <laughs> fence. I can't. Okay, I don't know where to charge up my fucking shield. Um. Oh wait, 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 wait. Can wait, you wait. go down there? No. Okay, there's an invisible wall there. There's an appears, invisible wall. So there's nothing there. Yeah, they're either acknowledging that they stole it, or they don't know that control came out first. Yeah. Which I think they'd have to be stupid. I, like I, they must know that. Control came out first. That's like impossible. I think they're just like gloating that they stole that thing. Okay, spirit wells don't show up in the real world, so that eliminates half the places to look for a spirit well. B. You know hmm. what's annoying about this? I don't know which of these rooms I'm going to. I cannot remember it. Yeah. Um, and it's because they don't have any of the features that are in the other world. Yeah. One of these rooms should have a baby crib in it. Mm -hmm. And one of these rooms should have the bed with the butterflies on the end, so I know which one I'm fucking going to, because I, I do not care enough to pay attention to which one has what. Give Silent Hill to Remedy. I agree. I agree. Remedy, Remedy would do fine Remedy with would it. do something interesting with Red them, Candles is my, my dream team. Yeah. Wow, someone's stomping around upstairs. I, I think if Red Candles did a Silent Hill, it would probably be a mostly narrative thing with, like... Puzzles, but like no combat. Mm -hmm. I think that's that that seems what they're comfortable with right now. Mm -hmm. um, I'd be okay with that because I trust them to do good. But uh, yeah, I have really liked both of their games. Did he just run for so it? Far. Is there no spirit well? Because it's that would be really funny because fucking the way that it acted, it was like I was supposed to do the the thing. Ah, uh, we get to <laughs> listen to this again. Oh, well, you can skip it. And just book it right yeah. away. Ah, I got there uh, too late the first time. Wow, that's fucking stupid. That Every other thing. time. It came from her. By the way, that sucks. Bought its um, way out with our lives. Lily, that's. <laughs> she... I need to find her. Yeah, that fucking sucks. First of all. Um, second of all, being attacked by moths, every other time I've been attacked by moths, I've had to use a spirit yeah. shield, so making it so that I run and there's no well around here to destroy them is really, um, fascinating to me, because that should have just been a cutscene, to yeah. make sure I don't fuck it up. They're holding my hand for everything else, why are they not holding my hand for that? I don't get it. I'm sorry, I was looking in the chat when she said stuff coming out of the mirror, what, what did she say? She said that Lily... Basically, the the creature that's yep. been chasing us, that was from Lily being, like, real mad at her for being a baby. <laughs> what? Mm. The evil rape monster was born from hating a baby? Is I that? I don't know. 
Uh, uh. Unless the chat has a better take on that. Uh, Lily hated Marianne because Marianne was born and took mommy away from her. Okay. And it seems like Lily is kind of the bad guy for, well, not really, but the, the, this Troy Baker critter comes from Lily. Uh, yeah, because she just hates us. Huh. Yeah, the mother uh, died in childbirth. But. Yeah, I think the mom died in childbirth. And even if she didn't, it could it could have still been like I hate her for taking my my mom's attention away from me. Yeah. yeah. But clearly died in childbirth. Um, yeah. Because that's edgier. So why wouldn't you do it? Obviously. Let me in the basement because this fucking dot has been driving me crazy. This dot that has been here. Yep. Just load it after this mirror breaks. Why don't you, dipshits? Again, the the walking downstairs animation is just tragic to me. Yeah. And like I've said, I think in every, I think I've said it every single stream we played this, I would absolutely forgive like the, the uh, some of the janky animation or the janky cutscene facial animations and stuff if other qualities in the game were great. Absolutely, if the, if the narrative were interesting, if the characters were relatable, I would absolutely, absolutely I, forgive this the, game. The, the positives, I, the only positive I can say about this game so far is some of the music is cool. Yeah. Some of the music is genuinely good and I like it. Mm -hmm. um, and some and of the environments are some nice. Of the, some of the environment art is very well done. Looks almost How come there is a fucking three second delay on the pause button? I don't know. Look, click. Tacked. Okay. Maybe I'll find click. some clues down here. I'm not shitting you. Yeah, <laughs> it's like three, three second delay. What the fuck is that about? I mean, I know I fucked it up earlier because I hit switch user and then it's, it's just the three second fucking delay. Outrageous! Outrageous! Why? I saw before you walk anymore, and she has another insipid thing to say. <laughs> uh, when we were when, I, when we were testing the audio and stuff out in the stream setup before we we went live, uh, I was telling Void like, "Oh, I need you need you to increase the brightness." And I saw you pause the game, and when you pause the game, like. Marianne was like mid-run animation and the whole game just hitched and chugged Ooh. to a stop. <laughs> and then after thinking about it real hard, went boop, here's the pause menu. Like it wasn't even just a delay, it was like the game actively chugging. I wasn't expecting this. <laughs> and like we're not running this game on a super amazing PC, but like I can run Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake mm -hmm. at ultra settings at 60 frames a second. <laughs> and it fucking pauses and, when you tell it to. And that game. <laughs> Uh, looks better than this. Like even the parts where it's it not does. doing, the, even in the parts of the game where there is no dual rendering going on, this game yeah. has terrible texture pop in, and it just fucking chugs for it's, some reason. This is not, you know, this is not a very graphically interesting game, but they're getting away with it because they are stealing from Bexensi so much, and it has a bit of style to it. And like, don't get me wrong. That gets a lot of points for me generally, usually, yeah. but I feel like they're just using it to hide behind the fact that they don't have like a triple A budget capable of having like real good rendering on these. Yeah. Like, look how shiny and weird her hair looks here. It looks like it's made of like Lego material or Playmobil hair or something. Yeah. You just chuck it on and off of her. Um, and there's no like decent lighting going on. I don't know. And the, fr the frame rate is just so bad, like, two world shit. And also, I don't really understand, um, I have to say, because, like, because somebody mentioned it earlier and it was patched out. Yeah. Somebody said, like, oh, you should try to, you know, do the soul split thing. Yeah, astral project. Astral or project here. And I realized you can only do that in very specific spots. Why can't I just do it whenever? Like, right here. Why can't I do that? Yeah. Uh, Quick gamer and, quiz. Describe Marianne as a character, not describing powers or things she does. Literally impossible, Barbasol embryos. Impossible. I don't know what 34 plus 35 remix is. <laughs> Sorry, Josh Tenold. Um, boring, yeah. I call her boring, bland, obnoxious. Uh, stupid, I call her stupid. I would say... Plain, for, forgetful. I would say that she seems just kind of... Dumb, like dumb. unobservant. Dumb and dull. Things that are very heavily being si signaled to her and the player. We understand and she does not. Meanwhile, I would call 
Jesse, who this character is kind of based off of, obviously, mm. I would call Jesse clever, sassy, devoted, funny, yeah. driven. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um. You know. Uh, <laughs> Bob says, I describe Marianne as unblinking. Unblinking. <laughs> <laughs> this lady thinks she's funny. Yeah, yeah, Spicy Mitten is right. She thinks she's funny. Absolutely. But she is not. Experience is what I would call Jesse for sure. Yeah. Or, or at least she, she's confident. You confident. Know, she yeah. isn't really experienced, but she is not afraid to gain that experience and fucking use it. And, you know, she's really good uh, as, a, as a character in general. And this just feels like a very very two-dimensional facsimile of Jesse from Control. Like, yeah. it's, the more I play the game, the more blatant that becomes to me. Anyway, let's walk. Oh, chug. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't have walked. That's my fault. The game wasn't expecting me to walk. Yeah. And, like, this game, I thought for a second, like, even aside from the two-world shit that, like, chops the frame rate in a half, even on 3090s and stuff, um, I thought maybe this game is chugging because it's on some weird proprietary engine that isn't super optimized or something like that. You know, they made their own engine for this game or something or previous games. This is Unreal Engine 4. Uh, <laughs> this is a game where yeah. there are plenty of games where those games, like, it's not just like the uh, engine is, is magic and, and, and shit like this. <laughs> And like, it might be Unreal Engine 4, but they programmed a bunch of proprietary sh shit bolted on top of it. So it's kind of sort of a new engine built on top of Unreal 4. But uh, there's a lot of Unreal 4 games that run super smooth, gotta say. Gotta say. And their system requirements are fairly low considering how good a lot of those games look. Today's her birthday, 2702. Don't expect that to be a code. Uh-huh. It always brings me back to that, mom that moment. The first time I saw her, that wonderful tiny creature, at the time I'd do anything just to be her dad, to silence that other part of me, and now I'm desperately trying to bring it back to help her. To save her, I think I finally figured out a way. It's risky, but it's our only chance if it fails. No, it will work! Has to work! All right, cool, Dad. Uh, nice the, jugs. The cardboard box. Nice jugs. Uh -huh. The cardboard <laughs> box says, for fuck's sake. <laughs> for Fuck's sake. <laughs> For fuck's sake. Ah, <laughs> oh, until dawn. Oh, we gotta replay that. That's such a yeah. good fucking game. Now that's you know a what? game that is that wears its homages on its sleeve, does it perfectly. And it it's original at the same fucking time. It does its own. I care spin. about it. Yeah, yeah, it's like oh so good. It is a game where you can tell that the the people really like and are heavily inspired by certain pieces of media and, and they they're doing their own take they on like understand what makes it scary yeah. or engaging or funny or tense I or yeah. any of those things I they understand where those emotions come from these people making this game do not know where those emotions come from when yeah. they have watched a horror movie or played a horror game, they do not know what that means. And I know we haven't played the Dark Pictures games. I know they fuck it up yeah. later. Uh, <laughs> yeah, we should we should play the the first one at least is on Game Pass, which is what we are playing this yeah, through. Yeah, we, so we have that. Basically, we should try. We should play that sometime. He's out there some somewhere. That much I know. Hell, the fact that I'm sitting here writing this and not drooling in the corner is proof enough. I just got to find him. Funny, I always wanted to be alone, the only one. Now I'm starting to think there were never really two of us. Maybe we were always just two sides of the same coin. Either way, I need him. I need myself to save her. Okay, so that I'm one's I'm obviously thinking, Thomas. Yeah, I mean, these are both, these are all Thomas's yeah. notes. Uh, somehow they did not get burned in the fucking <laughs> thing, but whatever. Uh, I'm thinking where this is going is that Thomas, uh, Thomas's evil Mr. Scratch self, that's the original daddy. And he got banished to the the demon world, oh. and and Thomas on the on the other side, he's like the nice daddy. He he's not actually mm. like her dad as I they wonder. as she knows him. Maybe he was abusive, and they just haven't talked about it yet. That's that's my guess on like how dumb this could be. Yeah, I'm expecting the worst. That's like how that could be stupid. Like I'm not saying like ooh, wouldn't that be cool? I'm saying ooh, I bet they think that's cool. Scream. Scream! Scream for me! Scream. Scream for me! Scream, baby! Tell me about the fire, Lily. <laughs> you were locked in, alone. 
No. We were not alone. There was a big tall creature. No. Who else was there? Looks like something from Hellboy. A voice. Um, I, I didn't invite it, but it came anyway. Oh, Lily. Woo! At least this shoe didn't scream at us. For sale, baby shoes. Never burnt. Somewhat burnt. <laughs> These lame whispers, like they're yeah. supposed. This is supposed to be a scary basement. Like I don't yeah. know if you guys noticed, this is supposed to be a scary basement. This is just a basement to me. It does not mean nothing to me. Is that not the right angle for you? Come no. On. What do you want, Daddy? Where is Marianne? She needs to stay at the hospital a while longer. Will she be all right? I want to see her. Oh, she's asleep, honey. The doctors aren't sure when ah. she's going to wake up. He mind melded her with his I psychic powers. Coma. That's why I couldn't remember anything. <laughs> ah. I didn't remember a goddamn thing. By and also, way, that's why they put me in an orphanage, I guess. As an aside, because, uh, who, who brought it up? Uh,. Was saying it. I lost it. <laughs> well, what, somebody what they say? Speedball Fifty Seven uh, said that the the evil creature Troy Baker uh, feels like a ripoff of the Darkness from the Darkness. You know, the crazy evil shadow possessing a mafia guy. I want to ask Chat if anyone's played them. Should I play both of the Darkness games? I kind of hear that they were kind of good. You know, even though they're just like based off comic books, but they seem kind of cool. Oh, sweetie. Look out! Oh, it's boy. a needle. Oh no! Oh no! What could hell? No! Oh jeez! What the? Come on, is that not good enough? What the? What? Well, this one's being too stubborn. Um. But it's the needle. We gotta hear what's behind the needle. This feels like. <laughs> this feels like when you can't come. <laughs> It's just like, just like, I'm so close! Where's the spot? I can't uh -huh. get to the spot! Oh, oh, there you go. Yay! Oh, it's a spot! You have to come with me now. Daddy? Where are you taking me? <laughs> sorry, chat. I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Happy Valentine's Thomas. Day. What the hell did you do to her? Do you still not know that that's your dad? <laughs> yeah. Does what? she not know that's her dad? Or is she just saying Thomas because like that's her bio dad and she doesn't know him? Because it just kind of comes off like she does. she's not putting two and two together, you know? Yeah. Woo! Oh, Bob says, dude, VB. Can't wait to see what he's going to say next. <laughs> this game is almost entirely <laughs> realizing shit days before Marianne I does. mean, yes, but it's like, holy fucking shit, doesn't she know Lily is her sister? I thought she knew that. Yeah. Because she's saying, oh, Lily, and it's the, I don't fucking know, dude. This is so fucking obvious. It's like literally hitting you over the head with it. It's, it's, I can't believe gamers are okay with this. You read this one. All right. She's sick, but it's not physical? He was right. That terrible night, something has awakened, something was born inside her. It's eating her from the inside, preying on her strength. Her little body withers. I have to do something. We need to do something. Okay, Mr. Scratch, we're gonna mind meld with my baby coma daughter. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm sorry, wait, wait. <laughs> Come on, we've all been there, baby. <laughs> Once in a while. Can you not walk further back? Uh, is there a place to go? I thought you could walk around some of that shit there. Like, in between... No, not between of those two no, things? No. I would have tried to go there. Okay. This looks uh, a little bit like the basement from the uh, from Tattletail. <laughs> except, oh, yeah. uh, except I like Tattletail's basement better. Mm -hmm. Oh, too bad I don't have my bolt cutters, except I do. <laughs> mm -hmm. Now I do. I didn't earlier. Fucking check the videotape, guys. I know writers who use subtext, they're all cowards. It's true. It's true, <laughs> they are. A lot of love was put into this. 
But there's sadness too. <laughs> oh, sorry, what does it say? <laughs> I want I want to read it. I know it's not a good game, but I want to read the thing. Alright, here you go. Happy anniversary What no <laughs> Okay. Happy anniversary, ten years, time flies, huh? Here's a little something to help you keep track. I love you, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> Barely legible, but I can still make out some of it. Oh, she must have sold her hair to afford this this watch pocket chain, but he sold his watch to give her hair supplies. Uh. Okay. <laughs> All right. Sure, man. It's a rich seat. Uh. Cool. Just in case you gotta return that thing. It's good to have the receipt. <laughs> All this time later, you, you take it back and then you, you look at a mirror <laughs> and go to the hell version of the watch shop and return it. I'd like to speak still to your manager in hell! <laughs> still got the receipt, baby. You have to honor it. Find a way to open the secret door. Oh, the secret door. Ooh, uh, what was the code again? 27 some fucking. It was 2702. I forget. Uh, who cares? Oh my fucking god. Oh, you went past Birth, it, I birthday, think. Birthday. Birthday. 27102, maybe? 2702. Yeah. Jesus, this thing is serious. Not Looks really. Like it's military. Solid steel. Combination lock. Big door <laughs> attached to God. What is this? Bricks? Somebody really wanted somebody to stay out of here. <laughs> Unlike me, because I've got a feeling. Mm. A pretty strong feeling. Mm. I could tell just by looking at it that I knew I was going to get in there. Good thing the code was just fucking on a thing. Look at this way to interact with a keypad. <laughs> Okay. Uh, okay, A doesn't work, which is cute. Uh, 2702. What are you shitting me? 0227. Fuck off! <laughs> fuck off, fuck off. Yeah, that's 2702. Is it backwards? Because it was 72? 2072. Yeah. I'm not looking at the chat. I don't want to spoil it for this because this actually is reminiscent of a puzzle. A puzzle, and I want to actually fucking solve it. Bob says it's so funny watching you go through the exact same thought process I went <laughs> through for this. That's because we know what a fucking puzzle is. Ah, <laughs> genius. Uh, so... Well, what's further down the hallway? Anything? Well, wow, okay. Nothing! Okay. <clears throat> so, it's not 2702. Today's her birthday. Would it be 0227? There's no 27th. No, there is 27th day in February. Of course there is. Yeah. Oh, two, two, seven. Fuck me. <clears throat> Is it just 1970 blank? Because the, the 70s was mentioned. Oi, oi, oi. Troubled man's notes. What'd they say it was 1973 or some shit? I love that we can't even flip through the fucking notes without them loading in. I don't know where that note was. It's probably just the year. I guess. Uh 
Ага. Бейби Квеб. О, wait. Oh, wait, no, sorry. 1976. I stopped short. Because I thought it doesn't go that far. It's the early 70s, I thought. Oh, if it's 1984, I'm gonna fucking bust a nut. <laughs> <laughs> In anger! Uh huh. 94. What? I don't know, man. People are posting Minmo in the chat, though. Thank you for Minmoing. <laughs> Let's just try every number. I'm a bad escape room player, and I'm just gonna, <laughs> just gonna do this shit. Fourteen, four, seven, eight, six. That's too big of a date to put like four blank seventy six. <clears throat> Unless it's 0476. I don't think it would be that. I don't uh, think it would be. Was there any number anyway. was there any number on the other thing that was in the locker? Maybe. This is a bad puzzle. <laughs> no, mm. Like, they either hold your hand too much or they give you no information. Which is, uh, fucking, it's really funny at this point. Ten years, huh? So is it their is it anniversary, 19? then? Is it 1966? Is this wedding year? If it isn't this, I'm gonna be mad, actually. <laughs> so that's officially mad territory, because I think that's a clever one. A little. Oh no, I don't want to give it a compliment <laughs> in case they're right. <laughs> okay, there we go. Wow. Alright, that's a puzzle, but... That's a puzzle. That's just, it's just weird. It's just fucking weird that the whole game they're not letting you do a single fucking puzzle the whole fucking time, and yeah. then... And then there's a fucking real puzzle that's actually a little hard. Insight. You, you gotta can, be a little bit of a, uh, observant you, you of can things use that you read. Insight on what? Insight on what, Bob? Bob, where do I use the insight on? Tell me. Oh my god, if it's on the keypad and you can just see oh, I'm gonna scream. the fingerprints. I'm blah, 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 blah. Can we look at the fingerprint, uh, 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 the keypad again? Shut the fuck uh, up! Uh, Shut the fuck up! That sucks! That sucks! <laughs> that fucking sucks! <laughs> that sucks! Puzzle fucking bites! <laughs> Bloober team bites! Wait, oh, I'm, I'm sorry, can you highlight the fingerprints again? Okay, yeah. Man! Dude, fuck this! Fuck you! Fuck that! <laughs> the way we did it was better. The way we did it was better. Fuck you! Infuriating. Infuriating. Dude, but fuck also you. like yeah. Because that was almost that was almost a good puzzle. It really was. I almost had respect for that, and then they had to do this. It took us a little bit of time of thinking, and then we got it. Yeah, it's like okay, like what, a puzzle what other works. What other numbers are around here? I just hate that like there's like one that's like glaringly obvious, and it's like Haha, no, not that one. <laughs> it's like fuck, yeah. fuck you. That's yeah. one of the reasons why when we do escape rooms together and there's just like a four digit like year somewhere, I almost never use it in a keypad because I always think that's too fucking easy and I don't respect it. There has to be some other thing to do. So I do respect that that was actually a real puzzle that needed two or three different points of, of interest to work yeah. out 10 years before this must mean their anniversary was that. Sure, yeah, great. But the thing is, is that all of the other puzzles, quote unquote, in this game has so much handholding involved yeah. that this is ridiculous all of a sudden to expect me to do. Mm -hmm. So of course, they just fucking highlight it, you know? <laughs> like, honestly, God, I'm sweating, I'm so mad. <laughs> I'm sweating. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, I Whoa, bet. Boy. Whoa, uh, boy. Guess, hey, hey. 
Before you go any further, Jesus I bet this hallway you get chased by Troy Baker. Oh yeah, oh, look, I can't go back. Can't go back. It's motherfucking pyramid head time, baby. Also, they stole this camera angle from Silent Hill 1. Whoop. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at you! Yeah, like, like that's- Look at you! What? My dad kept me in a basement. <laughs> what? <laughs> and I've got no juice, so he just gets me. What? What did I do something wrong there? You took slightly too long what? to rip around the corner, so he caught up to you. What? Because I saw him come up behind you briefly no before the cutscene. I was going at normal speed. What the Why fuck? did you just pop into his fucking hands, man? Can't load the death fast enough. Here, I'm gonna, uh, before you go again, oh, I'm going to lower the game audio a little bit, because I think... You think it's loud? I think it's pretty loud, right. probably. I have a, I have a inkling. Okay, um, here's a little story. So, something VB got me for Christmas, although it, it shipped late, so it was, like, after Christmas when I actually got the present, was, um, a, a really cool thing. Uh, she, so there's a, um, if you haven't heard about it, there's a place called the Video Game History Foundation. Uh, uh, Frank Cifaldi and a few other people work there to, uh, be like a, a, a history foundation for, uh, video games. They archive, uh, anything video game related. They try to keep, you know, uh, good, uh, uh, samples of, you know, consoles and games and magazines and anything related to video games, source code, um, so that they can either provide it for other people when they need it or, you know, just for historical purposes. Uh, and right now they have a huge archive of um, gaming magazines that have been, that have been published over the years, uh, and they've been digitally scanning those for a while. And now that they've done finished scanning them, they're just like getting rid of the physical versions and just selling them. So VB for Christmas uh, got me one of those magazines. Yeah. And she just got me a second one for like an extremely early birthday present. <laughs> uh, and I think I'm gonna like get a subscription. They actually have like subscriptions so to get like old game magazines. The reason that I ordered the second one way, way, way too early is because when I ordered the first one for it Christmas, took, yeah. it took a really long time for them to ship it out. So for some reason I was still in this mode, like it's gonna take a long time to ship it out or something. But yeah. I'm very chuffed to have gotten you a good birthday present. It's really good. I feel like I'm not very creative with birthday presents, so I was very excited that you liked it. So yeah. Oh right, Taco awesome. and the Taco Task Force in the chat is right. That the the magazines they're shipping out are duplicates. Yes. They keep one copy of everything. That's right. That's right. I'm sad um, you didn't get Nintendo Power Number One. That yeah, that'd be a rough <gasps> I hard one to get. I would have screamed. <laughs> but yeah, so the the first one uh, was a Game Pro magazine from the early '90s or late '80s. Yeah, I think uh, it was '91 or two. It, it was uh, it was Double just dragon. it was just before the Super Nintendo came out in the U.S. So they had some articles there about Super Nintendo games, but they were importing them from Japan. Mm. Um, but reading a Game Pro magazine from back then is very funny because all of the reviews back then are written glowing. the way they're glowing. <laughs> well, every, no matter how shitty the game is, yeah, they're like glowing reviews for the most part. At worst, they get like a three for graphics or something, <laughs> a five. But. Uh, every single review is written the way like dumbasses on the internet want game reviews to be written. That's like I, modern it needs, day dumbasses. It needs asses. to be an objective review, no opinions, not in injecting their their political their politics into the you know just mm. is the game good? Yes, or, you know. And every single review is just like the graphics are intense, the difficulty is off the charts, five out of five. They, wow. They, they call it challenge. Yeah, challenge. That the challenge of the game is a five, which means it's bullshit. The game is bullshit. You will not be in it. Yeah. It sucks. Um, yeah, they, they straight up, like, mm. in some of the reviews, they were like, this game's fucking hard and it's bullshit. Five out of five for challenge. Wow. Oh, God. Uh, I, I... I just want to go back to why I'm mad about that puzzle. I know nobody's uh -huh. giving nobody's giving me shit in the chat. Thank you, by the way, for not for not giving me shit about that because I feel like I solved it the way that was it was supposed to be solved, and yet I'm angry. Um... And like I've already harped on the fact that like it's it's because of all the previous puzzles being like child's play, 
Yeah. And I just want to say that, like, if I was in an escape room or playing a puzzle game or something, and that was, like, one of the earlier puzzles, like, one of the first puzzles, I would have loved it. Yeah. I would have respected that puzzle. Yeah. I would have been like, oh, that's so clever. Like, you know, usually when you have a four-digit keypad, it's some random year. Yep. You know, whatever. Uh, and even though I solved it in about the correct amount of time, they expected somebody clever to solve it. I feel like they've spent this whole game being incredibly condescending to me and my ability to solve puzzles. Yeah. And then they whip this out on me. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yep. <laughs> like, this is impossible. Yep. Yeah, the game's been training you to to take the path of extreme least resistance. So all of a sudden, the path of normal resistance is impossibly hard because of the, <laughs> the, the, yeah. the whole thing they've set up so far is that they don't trust you. you know? like, it's just honestly. I agree with Too Cat Too Curious who says that keypad puzzle should have been what you got what got you into the photo lab in the first 20 minutes of the absolutely, game. Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, Hitman 3. Hitman 3 has that same has puzzle. Has that same puzzle, and I was thrilled to see it. I was like, <laughs> I was like, ooh, a little like escape room style puzzle. That's so fun. Let's go around the room and find the numbers and da-da-da. And I was like, wee! But because yeah. this game has had no puzzles of any merit for fucking six hours, they bust out a normal real puzzle now? Fuck you for doing that to me. Yeah. What's the geek game or trivia, Chip Cheesem? Okay, this is uh, this is one I would have to think about for a little bit. Okay, uh, this, nervous. This, this is a, not a, a gimme for sure. We um, gotta do like four of these. We got like a whole stack, and yeah. we're approaching Geek the end of the game. Gamer question: David Crane, Larry Kaplan, Alan Miller, and Bob Whitehead, Whitehead left Atari to form which company? Oh fuck! I know this shit. Oh, don't tell me. Uh huh. Mm, fuck. This is one where I would have to think for a while too, before I remembered it. It's not Apple, is it? No. Because one of the Atari guys left to do Apple stuff. Um, oh, fuck. What were their names again? David, David Crane, Crane, Larry Kaplan, Alan Miller, and Bob Whitehead. God, I don't know any of these people what they've done. Fuck. And they left Atari to form what company? Oh, this is going to bug the shit out of me. <laughs> the, a Big Donut that. says Bloober Team. Bloober Team, yeah. That's <laughs> them, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I just, I plain don't remember it. I'm gonna smack myself for not knowing this one. Okay, you wanna know? Yeah. Activision. Oh! Yes, it yeah. is Activision. You're right. <laughs> Give me a question, please. Yeah. I, I've read The History of Video Games, Replay, yeah. The History of Video Games. They have like a whole chapter about that, and I just couldn't remember it was Activision. I need to read that again. What year was the Nintendo 64 released? Uh, 1996. Yeah. Duh. <laughs> you get another one because I was too easy. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> the first Final Fantasy was created while developer Square was nearing bankruptcy. The director, Hironobu Sakaguchi, yep. thinking this game would be the, his last, gave the series its name. It was not his Final Fantasy over two decades later. The series is still going strong. What was the name of the final boss? In Final Fantasy One, yeah, uh, chaos. Yeah, yeah. The fuck was this question? <laughs> <laughs> what? What was this that's, meandering that's a question? Weird, that's a weird lead-in. That's like a you don't know Jack question. That wasn't you don't know Jack question. Yeah. Okay. Here's another question for you. In what year was the Atari Twenty Six Hundred released? Oh, that's hard. Also, someone in the chat said that's not actually true, and that's a bullshit story. Yeah, the the the, fi the whole that's the origin Final of Final Fantasy. Fantasy's name is bullshit. Yes. What year is the twenty six hundred? The twenty six hundred. Oh my god. Um. Hmm. It was the eighties? Was it the seventies? I don't even know the decade, honey. Um, I'm gonna say fucking. Oh, the Atari 2600 fucking... It's older than me, I think. Yes. Yeah. Uh, let's say 1979. Very close. Oh, shit. 1977. Fuck! I'm so bad at dates! <laughs> Ask me a question. Okay, okay, here we go. F fucking hell. <laughs> you get all the easy questions that you're absolutely gonna know! <laughs> <laughs> when was the fucking Wii released? Uh, 2006. Yes! You're not only, like, like <laughs> you're getting the easier dates than me, too. Like, I'm, I'm bad at dates, and I'm getting the harder dates. Okay, let's do another one for you, because yeah. it's not fair. 
Um, <laughs> in Street Fighter 2, how many buttons were used to control you character? <laughs> to control you character? <laughs> in Street Fighter, which, which by the way, it's, it's quotations in Street Fighter quotations, Two, how many, which is outside the quotations, how many buttons were used to control you character? Uh. <laughs> you character is my favorite fighter. <laughs> th this is one of my weaknesses because I don't know much about I mean, Street I mean, Fighter. Yeah, I just thought it was funny um, that it was you character. Is Street Fighter 2 a four button game? No, it's six. It is six. You got it's it. It's six. Yeah. All right. I think we should play the medium. All right. Let's play the medium. <laughs> Check you feet. Check you feet. <laughs> Like your feet died. Oh, ah, okay. Let's fucking let's run from All right. from now. Go around the corner better. I, yeah, I guess <laughs> I fucked up by going around the corner bad. Fucking, I'm gonna watch the instant replay on that. I'm gonna be furious because I thought I went around that corner perfectly fine. There's a delay on her going around corners, by the way. Can I like? Whoa. What? Oh. Uh, <laughs> where am I gonna go? It was open, bitch. What the fuck was that hesitation? That was an open door. She's not locking it or anything? What the fuck? She didn't lock it! What will it take to get rid of that fucking Maybe thing? locking the door. Also, wait, is the door different looking now? What? Hold on, pause, on, pause, it on, pause. It does look different. The door on the left doesn't have any of the shit on it now, does yeah, it? Yeah, this door is different than the door I was just touching in the cutscene. Let me point my actual flashlight at it. That's a, That's different, a different door! door! What was with that five second chase? What the fuck? Why did I die during the five second chase? <laughs> what did it do? Okay, it's not there... just us chat, right? That door is different now. That door is different, right? I'm not crazy, right? There was like lockable things, two different lockable things. Like from fucking uh, Layers of Fear 2, they had the same doors where you, lock, you try to lock them behind you. Like, what? It is different, okay. It's a different door. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Um, <laughs> also, like, I'm running down this hallway. I'm passing by, like, multiple little <laughs> things to throw in my way. Like, like oxygen canisters. Oxygen or canisters. Shit. I shit thought like there'd that. be a prompt to do that, and they didn't, which is weird because I thought they were just gonna steal that from downpour. Yeah, that, slash, I was thinking that was a downpour chase scene for a slash, second. Slash, shatter memories. Shatter memories, you do that too. I thought they were going to steal that. They didn't do it there. It's a yeah. five second chase scene. And then you don't even lock the fucking door. There's no there's no tap to lock the door, which would have added some tension, some yeah. much needed tension to have a little fucking yeah, like, yeah. oh, tap real fast to do this thing. What the fuck? How are they continually fucking this up? Mamma mia. Oh my fucking God. Where <laughs> am I? What is this? Is a basement? This is what basements look like in the fucking, in fucking Poland? I, I mean, visit it's Poland. a secret door, so it's a secret basement that's military related or something. You read this. <laughs> it's done. They'll never know. They can never know. They wouldn't understand. They would never forgive me, but they are safe. That's what matters. Separation. It's the only way. Okay, we're gonna separate Lily and Marianne because if they ever meet each other, there's gonna be a continuum. Bam. <laughs> <laughs> Bob said, sorry, defending yourself constitutes combat and Bluebird team ain't about that shit. I fucking guess not, yeah, dude. <sighs> well, I don't have fucking the juice, so I'm not even gonna try. <laughs> and, and Pazuzu's saying, sub David Cage level tension. <laughs> it's true. Yeah, even David Cage you At least I have to do, I have to press a button to do a fucking backflip in, in David Cage. So. In David Cage games, even though <laughs> they... <laughs> Some sort of a... Pregnant pause. You have even to though, talk like her while you say this. Even though David Cage games aren't good, <laughs> they still manage to have tension, stress, <laughs> having to press buttons to survive. <laughs> there are single scenes when put in a vacuum are effective, <laughs> engaging. Mm. Grab my attention. <laughs> <laughs> you did it, honey. I love you. Uh, I just acted like William Shatner for that. That's... I mean, she's basically female William Shatner, so it's fine. 
Man, I would love dialogue options. Like, goddamn. Wouldn't that be nice if they had, like, honestly, like, can you imagine some of these scenes playing out just slightly, having a little bit different flavor? Just a yeah. little bit of interaction like, here, in the cutscenes would be me, great. Let me bring up, uh, uh, let me fucking strangely enough praise a David Cage game for oh, a second. Oh, wow, let that's me, how dark and deep we've gotten here. Let me bring up individual parts of some David Cage games that I have played that have been effective. The entire intro segment of uh, Indigo Prophecy where you wake up having killed a guy in a bathroom that's being possessed great. by something and you have to choose different ways to hide your murder. While that eventually falls apart late in the game, that initial scene is great. There's uh, like four that, or five different ways scene, to do that part. That intro scene is like actually incredible, by the way, and it was incredibly, it, it grabs you from the get-go. And it, it grabs you. Very intriguing, very interesting from the get-go. It definitely does fall apart, you're right, but uh, it was super good. Really good. Thanks for clipping that, by the way, Wegwort. <laughs> Heavy Rain, where uh, you, the two different scenes, uh, one where uh, some jigsaw shit happens and you <laughs> are led to a small featureless room where you're told you have to cut your pinky off or else your child dies. <laughs> and you have to do a bunch of buttons yeah. and stuff to, you know, get Ethan ready to chop a finger off. Mm. And you can also fucking just chicken out and not do it. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, that they let a, you chicken out. There's that bizarre uh, broken glass air duct and electricity yeah. wire maze. The bear challenge. The bear challenge? Oh no, the bear challenge was the one where you're driving against traffic in the opposite lane, which is hilarious. Yes, just yes. driving it towards funny. traffic. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna replay Heavy Rain one day. It's funny. Yeah, I agree. Um, and yeah, just like that broken glass air duct maze and, and stuff. Like, there's genuine tension there, I think. It's goofy, but it's like. goofy, but. I like can, it. We can only do the astral projection shit in cases like this where there's a wibbly, wibbly part. Yeah. I don't like that. Um, Tilarn, yeah, Heavy Rain and, like, all of David Cage's games are on PC now. Um, I think they might be on Game Pass, too? I forget. I still haven't played Detroit. Oh, we have it, though. We have it, but... We should stream that after Alone in the Dark. People really want us to play the rest of Alone in the Dark, and I feel yeah. very bad... I feel very bad for delaying that a lot. We haven't done that yet. I feel awful about it, obviously. Like, the, my bigger issue with David Cage... And his games are more um, uh, the way he writes and treats women in his games, and also, <laughs> yeah. uh, also, also extremely the fact that there's stories. Why is of there him. a reticle on one half of the screen? I don't know. Uh -huh. Also, the fact that there's been like stories that have come out that David Cage is like an abusive boss. Oh, I mean, fucking. Like, yeah. I, I had a feeling. <laughs> um, those are my problems with David Cage games. Mm. If those qualities were not there. Uh, I'm scared I'm missing it would something. like his stuff would just be pretty enjoyable, schlocky, like B movie games. Yeah, like fucking like Paul W S Anderson stuff. Okay, my other problem with David Cage games uh, is uh, mm. the way he writes black people. Oh, awful! Yes, uh, and how he uses his most recent okay. game to have. That looks like a way out, but it's half underwater. To, this, to, this looks to, like a way out uh -huh. to you. This doesn't look like a way out. David Cage using Detroit to like have white people robots like suffer through what black people have That's actually suffered through uh, seems incredibly fucking stupid. That's disgusting. Oh, uh, now the reticle's on the left side of the left screen. Left side. Yeah, yeah, also he was a creep to Elliot Page. Like, yes. Obviously, of course. Like, great. <laughs> oh, we've got the juice over here, potentially. Well, for once, I don't have to do a fucking puzzle to get the juice. Damn. Gotta blame it on my juice, ya ya ye. Remember how Indigo Prophecy uh, uses the song Love TKO? Yes. Uh, how can I forget, honey? It's very fun. Honey. Also, even that? though it's like really obvious symbolism here, I'm upset if you face the camera again, get real close to it. Mm -hmm. I'm upset that the the Marianne in the other world doesn't have the other oh, side of the necklace. She doesn't! They both have the left side of the butterfly. Shouldn't one of them have the right side of the butterfly? Wouldn't that make more fucking sense and be better symbolism? <gasps> That's upsetting. If there's actually two split people, kind of? You're so fucking right. What the fuck? Even the small details suck about this game. Like, <laughs> 
That's really outrageous. Thanks like, for noticing that. I hadn't been paying attention, but my brain just auto-completed that they would have one half. Yes, of course each they of would. A like the things that are missed. Because it seems like a no-brainer. Yeah, that's a no-brainer. And it's a very easy comparatively oh, to so easy other to changes do. you can make to 3D models. That's a pretty easy fucking change because it's the same model flipped. Yeah. Absolutely. God, that's disappointing. God, they're just so fucking. They're bad at making games. I don't know what to say about it, man. Nothing interesting happening here. Okay, can't go to the East Chamber. Nothing interesting happening here. Apparently, there's some spoilers in the chat, but we missed them. Good. Good. Oh, well, I can go here. Even though it's very difficult to see that I can, I just wanna. I just want to point out that if you're just looking at the left screen, you can't tell that you can you can't go there. And if you're looking at the right screen, there looks like there's gunk in the way. Yeah. I guessed. I guessed that it could split there. I bet that stopped a lot of people from progressing for a while, honestly. There's another well? But I'm already charged. What? Alright, I'm just fucking making my way downtown. It's hard to distinguish the stairs here a little yeah, bit. Yeah, this is this, <laughs> this is so ugly. What is this? It's not creepy, I'm just confused. Ugh. Visually, just nonsense. Okay, I can't go this way. For some fucking reason. And that's not why not? It's, it's been a while since. Why not? It's been long enough that we've that we've done astral projection. You can't burn that barrier away with your energy. Maybe I can. Maybe. It's been long enough that I do not remember let's, exactly. Let's, let's up here. Yeah, let's go up let's first. Let's go up first. What? What? Uh huh. Okay. What does that do for me? God, I can go this way. Oh, this no! area. This area feels like padding. I ugh. What? Why can I go this way? I think you're going backwards now. Yeah, this now. is where I. Why am I allowed to even go this way? Who cares? When there's previous parts that absolutely lock you out of going different ways, but then I don't know. What the fuck? You just looped. That's it's nonsense. A loop. it's, it's a, a circle. loop. It's a circle. Why? <laughs> Total fucking nonsense. Okay, let's not go to the left, let's go to the right. What's over here? No, nothing? Nothing. Can you nothing? move down more? No, I mean, I went down. What's here? What? Thanks, fixed camera angle. I didn't know I could even go down, but I happen to be having momentum that direction. Uh, 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 uh. Whoop. Uh. Hold it, right? Did I not get it? No, it made a little crackling buzzing noise. I think you got it. But it didn't travel anywhere. I think you powered it up in the normal world, right? So you can interact with it? Or something? Uh, uh duh. but I can't go there. Like if you go down and then to the right. Did I take you there? Give me a minute. <laughs> no. Energy's energy. Energy's energy. It's truth. It's truth. Okay, now I know why there's a more energy doodly do here. It does not look like a path I should be able to go on, but here I am. Uh, I guess I'll go here. I don't know. Man, is there something this way? No. These camera angles are not as good. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you! Yeah! Why can't I go this way? Like, if you look at the angle which I'm coming down, it looks like I can just go It looks left. like you can go up there, yeah. I can't. I'm not allowed to. I mean, maybe I can blast away that that thing. Yeah, the barrier. I'm getting a little... Do not know. Getting a little skeletal here. Give it a shot. Okay, established. We can't burn the... No. No, wait. No, it wasn't. No, I thought it was doing a little effect. I don't think for a so. Second. Uh, let's go look at it again. Visit it. Jesus I'm fucking Christ. Gotta rejuice myself. Yeah, I agree, Bob. Yamoka has not been the same since Silent Hill 4. Silent Hill 4 has, I gotta say, IMHO, the best soundtrack of the Silent Hill games. An underutilized soundtrack. 
I, I, from the stuff I've heard Yamaoka like pop up in that mm. was non horror stuff. No More Heroes 2, uh, Shadows of the Damned. Is he in No More Heroes 2? Yes, he what did music he? for No More Heroes 2. What There's some good stuff do? in No More Heroes 2. No More Heroes 2 fucking slaps as a soundtrack, so I'm curious what... I don't think it was all no, Yamaoka. No, it didn't, it okay, didn't go it didn't, away. Nothing happened. Okay. Nothing happened. How come some of these I can get rid of as Thomas, but not her? And I find that really confusing. Um... Wow, what a, what a padding section this is. God damn. But I feel like... SH2 is pretty much all bangers, but I, I like... There's a lot of um, SH4 tracks that are just, like, way, way good. Doesn't SH4 also have, like, a whole an asshole of songs that aren't even used in the game? They're just yes. on, like, a special soundtrack yeah, and they're the all special, really good. Yeah, the special soundtrack is, like, incredible of SH4. Um, it's on par or a little better than SH2's. Yeah. I made you. But... There's like literally nothing else here, right? I, d I don't know, but like, I mean, it's you... like the the. I mean, I keep thinking there's like another. There's area nothing here. here. There's nothing here. How can there be nothing here? There's a big glowing thing that it shows me in that larger view. I mean, you you flick the the power box on. We got to do something with that. But like, there's this big ass like. I know, I know, thing. but we flick the power like that's the. <sighs> okay, I'm, I'm just gonna get a better another view of where that power box is. Mm-hmm. I think it, it was, was up, up. Then to the right. Where I can't go as myself. Mm hmm And I don't even think I powered it because all the other power boxes I've done have sent you, an electrical signal somewhere. When you did the thing, it made like a sparking like beep, 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 noise like you powered it on. It made a noise, but did it open this door? I think it opened this door. Um, Take your anyways, time down what, the I was, stairs, girl. what I was gonna say about Yamaoka is it feels like he only has a certain amount of songs in him, mm -hmm. and he's run out of them. Yeah, either that, or he just hasn't I been looped. particularly. Oh boy, I looped around. Either that, or it feels like he just hasn't been particularly inspired for a while. I don't know. Yeah, especially because Shadows of the Dam. There's just he keeps reusing his own motifs. Like yeah, he reused songs for Shadows of the Damned. Yeah. Oh wait, yeah. This was this open always, or this what is, is where you this? came from? This is where you started originally. Where did I come from as me, as spirit me? Honey, what's happening? I don't know. This section seems like it's designed to waste your time. This is like a sewer level. What is this? Fuck yeah. And like, why does she think that's an exit? Is like, what's adorable? Is like, what? Why? Why is that an exit to you? There's some cargo up here and shit. I don't know. There's water. I guess I'll have to pump. We the have water. to drain. We have. To get, we gotta drain it or something. Here we go. Here's oh, something. Oh whoa, whoa! This place is new and there's electricity. Oh my god! I want to die in it really bad. I think it's not going to be that funny. And I really don't want to see you get progress reset here. I really don't want to see you have to do this oh, shit again. but I want to know. Don't. I want, mm, She's just going to flop over and it's Bob's not Bob's saying that. I should die. Okay. I trust Bob. I defer to Bob. He's played the game. I trust Bob. There has to be okay. like no animation All for right. this. Ah! Ah! <laughs> Man. <laughs> she literally... Nuh uh. She literally doesn't do it! Right before you ran up to it, Bob said, Don't actually do it, don't trust me. <laughs> <laughs> Nuh uh. Oh my fucking god, are you serious? They don't even let me die? They don't even give me the freedom to die! That's fucking amazing! I wow, like it's I... literally, that's not even a puzzle. Why is it there? Why is it there if they Did don't you, let you I, die? I think maybe you flipping, turning that power box on might have powered that thing or something. I don't no, know. No, Well, no, if it powered it, though, then there wouldn't have been electricity beforehand. Uh, like, what is that? I'm sorry. I'm getting a little hysterical here. What is uh, that? <laughs> yeah, what? <that's... laughs> I'm sorry. I'm getting a little riled. Maybe yeah, you're getting a little riled. The water from here. I think we got to tone oh. it down a little, maybe. Let's calm down, everybody. Let's calm down. Because otherwise, unfortunately, we will get YouTube comments. Okay. Let's not. I oh, don't. boy. <laughs> oh, yeah, man. We got uh, the West Chamber. We got, we got the East <laughs> Bob Chamber. Vid sa uh, Bob says, yes, save the rage for, for the later. later. For the later. Yes, it's on. 
Yes. Oh my god. Well, now I can go here and what, press this the... button. Oh, yeah. Why is this an investigation? <laughs> Just let me open the door. Why is this an investigation sequence? Is there another thing you can investigate right there? God, that's amazing. Oh, you read it. Oh boy, it's a lot. It's oh a lot. boy. Oh, and the, the controller, it doesn't want you to read it. Yeah, so by the way, this automatically scrolls down for some reason. I have to hold the stick up continually to keep it up here. Amazing. When we first stumbled upon the site, we thought it was just an old German bunker, a couple corridors, maybe some outdated supplies. Two weeks of excavation later, we knew that old funny mustachio must have had big... <laughs> old funny mustachio. Wait, wait, wait. That's Hitler. <laughs> Oh, funny mustachio! I, that's what I call Mario. Yeah. Uh, old funny mustachio must have had big plans for this place. A whole system of underground tunnels, reinforced concrete walls, the whole shebang. Guess he wanted to have himself a little forest retreat in case the whole master race thing didn't work out. <laughs> the commies did what they do best, stolen it for themselves. They wanted to repurpose it into a full-on nuclear shelter. They even got a power grid going. But that's as far as they got before the dream of Neva went to shit. Luckily for me, the entire thing was very hush-hush, and I made sure it stayed that way. As far as I know, most people who knew about it died in the massacre. I wouldn't exactly call it a silver lining, but still. If things go south, we should have a place to lay low. Okay, so this is underneath the house he grew up in. Sure. Yeah, and uh, we just have it because my dad was such a historically cool communist. Also, I have to pee again, so... All right. Fiddle around. Yep, I'm gonna fiddle around. I'm gonna look at this... Ugh, this map. Yep. Okay, so you we. Figure this puzzle out. I don't. Oh have a man. Patience right now. Okay, I'll try. <laughs> yeah. Also, just like the chat's saying, commies do what they do best: convert a shitty bunker into a nuclear shelter. What? That's bad. Uh. Like the. Uh, whatever. Okay, so we've got a west chamber and a tank one valve. Central chamber, north exit, control room, which is where we are now, I guess, then the east chamber with the tank two valve, and then this part is just unlabeled. I guess it's just a hallway or something? Sure, let's go, uh... Let's look at this again. Okay, we got buttons to press here. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> oh, man. Uh, okay, central water... Water pressure in the central chamber is going down. Oh god, we can sh uh... Oh shit. Okay, like the tanks are closed off. off. Maybe I could get down there and open them in. Okay, so that's our goal. We gotta open up the tank so that we can move the water in there so that we can then... Uh, oh god, there's... Okay, this is looped all the way back. Okay, so I figured out what we're doing, essentially. I heard you say, uh-oh, or something. Or what? <laughs> okay, so we're here in the control room in number three. Makes sense. Rooms one and four have big water tanks in them. Mm -hmm. And two has the exit here we want to get in, yeah. get, go through 2A that's full of water. Isn't this so, a Luigi's Mansion 3 puzzle? Nah, it's different enough. <laughs> uh, so we need to drain water from 2A into 1A and 4A, the two tanks. Okay, mm -hmm. here's a control panel where I have, there's a whole <laughs> bunch of buttons here, and I was just like, okay, send water from water pump one that away, and so now all the water is over here in this chamber, and I was just like, boop, send it to the tank, but they're both closed, so we have to get to both tanks and no. manually open them, and then we can probably drain the water oh. into these tanks and, and fucking leave. Oh wait, we can look at this too. Yeah, you can look at that. Uh huh. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I figured it out before I ever looked at it. It's just for dummies. Okay, and so if we go through here, we loop back to the very beginning. <laughs> yeah. And now here's this power box. Yeah. Uh. But we still can't do anything. But with can, it. can you zap that? Did I zap that? Got to hold. Yeah. I'm gonna hold it and zap it. But yeah, it doesn't act like you did it. <laughs> so I don't know what is going on. I, yeah, I don't know what's going on here either, actually. 
Why don't they have a how to do, you know, puzzles for dummies? All right, am I continuing here? to play this? Do you, you can you can if you want. Okay, let's let's see if I can get us through this shitty yeah, section you, a little you, quicker. You you try it. <laughs> give it a shot. Okay, so and we're I'll looping, look at the chat. <laughs> we're looping through all of this. We gotta manually open. This isn't a place I can go through. <laughs> It was. Wait. They closed this it because they closed, closed it because it's full of water. You put water in that chamber, right? No. I have to project myself through here now. Mm -hmm. Look at look at this place we can go to. What? There's shit down there. Oh my there. god! There's shit down there. What? Dude, this sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you can keep playing. What a generous offer. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on in this level? This is trash. Okay, I'm sorry. Why can't I walk through here now? You walked through this normally before, <laughs> correct? Yeah. I don't... <laughs> Let's go back the other way. I don't understand. Let's go back the other way. Do you want a Geek Gamer question? Yeah, hit me with some questions. Why do the shitty part? Which video game takes place in a dystopian underwater city? Oh, geez. Could it be Bioshock? Yeah, I left off the last two words, which names the city! Are you fucking kidding me? Which video game takes place in an underwater dystopian city called Rapture? I, I, I took those off because I knew you had it. Yeah. I knew you didn't know. You didn't need it. Ah, lower levels are flooded. Okay, we gotta do a little bit more water management then. Can you try, lady? Can you try? Okay, let's go back here, and we gotta uh, move the water that's here over here. Why don't I get these questions? I'm sorry. In Ocarina of Time, what's the final boss? I can probably get to the first tank. Fucking Ganon. Dwarf. Yeah, it's fucking Ganon. <laughs> There he is. Great <laughs> Hello. Not for me. Not for me. I thought he called you a Nazi girl. What would you be? Happier. You owe me. I. Uh, do you want to hear the, uh, this was, by the way, an optional, cho a multiple choice question. Okay. The other, uh, final boss potential answers for Ocarina of Time was Goron, <laughs> Voldo. Voldo, okay. Ganondorf and Ganon. Ah. Which 1986 Nintendo game is set in the fantasy land of Hyrule and oh, damn it. and sentries on a boy named Link? It's Legend of Zelda. Yeah, baby, you're getting all the easy ones Valve in a row. Missing. Please be around, Valve. I I plead to the Valve. Please <laughs> be around. Please make Half Life Three. <laughs> When Mega Man defeats a boss, he... Gets their power. Yeah, man. Uh, this is weird, though. It's optional choice. It's multiple choice. Uh-huh. Um, when Mega Man defeats a boss, he acquires their power, hey. which is correct. That's my way out. Is it? Once I dry it up a bit. Okay. Upgrades his arm cannon is B, which is technically kind of true because he gets a new power that does a new thing. Learns a new attack, which is technically true because he gets their power and learns a new attack, and can access the next level, which is technically true because it's the end of the level, you can go to a now different level. Yeah. What the fuck? Now the it's ready to gulp down some water. Mmm, mmm, can't wait to gulp. Here comes Mr. Thirsty. I'm good. Francis. Nurse Ursula. Nurse Ursula. Nurse Ursula. Oh. Insatiable. Ooh, what a babe. The only one to get away. Shut up. They don't last. They 
Yeah, like, the idea that someone found this scary, anyone found this scary, is, like, beyond me, because it's so goofy. It's the goofiest bad guy I've seen ever. Mm-hmm. Uh, the original Xbox was released in what year? Original Xbox. Ooh, this is going to be a hard one for me, because uh. I don't know as much Xbox. Uh, the original Xbox, I'm going to say, was 2002. 2001. 2001, wow. You were, it was the same year as the GameCube, huh? Huh, oh, for some reason I thought it came out one year after the GameCube. I didn't realize, maybe GameCube came out in like January and this one came out later mm. or something. Um, <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is another you don't know Jack style question. Tetris has sold more than 495 million copies worldwide, making it the most popular video game ever. In the original version of the game, what is the maximum number of lines that can be eliminated at one time? Four. Yeah. And yes, it's spelled eliminated. Eliminated. By the way, so the reason why I couldn't get into this area before when it previously was fine is because I moved water over here so this place was flooded. That's what I said. Oh, I did not remember you saying that. I said, like, oh, there's water in there. Can't go. So, now I can go down here. Wow, congrats. Um, <laughs> what could Sonic the Hedgehog not do in the video games that real hedgehogs Oops. can? Due to the mistaken information- Due to mistaken information about the mammal by game developers. Is it fly, swim, make friends, or run faster than the speed of sound? <laughs> what is that question? What is this question? You can run. Oh, I can run. Uh oh, I'm out of juice. I'm dead. Gotta blame it on my juice! Man, the shield shit is like. <sighs> yeah, yeah, ye. Yeah, yeah, ye. Sorry, was the question. <laughs> What Which, <laughs> what can Sonic the Hedgehog not do? Not do in the that video hedgehogs games can that do. hedgehogs can do due to mistaken information about the mammal by game developers. Fly, swim, make friends. Swim. Run faster than the speed of sound. Yeah, they can swim. Yeah. Yeah. Head real hedgehogs can't make friends. <sighs> okay, time to hear uh, uh, Mr. Troy Baker say some dumb shit again. Horse be the horse. So many dolls to play with. <laughs> Such pretty things to wear. Lillian, Francis, Nurse Ursula. Nurse Ursula. She was insatiable. Uh, oh. And him, the only one to get away. Someone else pointing out that this seems like a bad Tim Curry impression. Yeah. Yeah. They're so subtle. They never lost. Diesel clouds and noxious muck. Slime beneath me. Ooh, slime up above. <laughs> Do you love my... Ah, ah, ah. Toxic love. <laughs> In the action RPG series Monster Hunter, what type of animal is the poogie oh, that you so affectionately keep as a pet? It's a pig. And dress up in the latest fashions as a pig. It's yeah. a pig. I'm surprised that wasn't multiple choice. Honestly, shocked there's a Monster Hunter <laughs> question in here. Me too. What's the final boss in Punch Out? Uh, Mike Tyson or Mr. Dream. It's Mike Tyson, yeah. <laughs> they don't even have Mr. Dream. Some bitch ass. It could have been a slightly more gotcha question. Gotta pay attention. But no. Not this time. Alright. Right, I keep looking at the left side of the screen, not paying attention. Do yeah. I need to go charge my juice before you, I do this? Maybe. Fuck me. You might want to charge your juice. In There's the one down there that I can't reach. In the meanwhile. Ugh. 
Uh, I'm going to uh, take this uh, gigantic uh, question that is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten lines long, and I'm going to condense it in Portal 2. What does GLaDOS turn into? What does GLaDOS turn what, into? What vegetable? A potato. Yeah. This is how they phrased it. In the game series Portal, the sadistic, passive-aggressive GLaDOS is a sentient AI bent on killing her test subject, Chell. During the events of Portal 2, what is the vegetable that GLaDOS is supplanted into after Wheatley takes control of Aperture Science Laboratories? Also, I think they spelled Wheatley wrong. Mm. <sighs> Portal 2 so good. I have not played Portal 2 in years. <laughs> she turns into your friend. You're right, Tave. <laughs> it's true. Mm. Uh, what's your sidekick in Ocarina of Time? Navi. Yeah. Do you want to hear what they said? Yeah. In The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, what is the name of the fairy companion that accompanies Link voicing the iconic catchphrase, Hey, listen! Yeah. I don't understand why Marianne can't, um, like, go to a single world when there's a situation like moths. What's yeah. going on there? Back there, back there. What? Is there, this? like... It, oh, there's an energy thing there. Yeah. Thanks for pointing that out. Mm -hmm. I was just looking down from the stairs thinking, why can't I go there? Damn uh. it. Why I have to go to the energy point that's further away? Mm. Why don't the bugs actually die when you run through <laughs> them with the shield that burns them to death? Mm -mm. Why do they, are they just always there? <gasps> Such a chatty pyramid head. Don't interrupt him. Ah, what fictional continent is Elder Scrolls set in? Oh, oh. Uh, That's either you know it or you don't. Stuff though. I forget what it's it, called. It's called Tam Tamriel. Tamriel, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. You got it. You got it. Um, we have so many left. Um. <laughs> The Covenant are fictional military alien races in which game series? Halo. Yeah. Yes. The central chamber's open. Dark water. Get your ass down there, Marianne. Like the M. Night Shyamalan movie. So much for us to see. For us to eat. For us to wear. I bet you're like releasing him to the wider world by doing this. Mm. Or something. Hello. Sequel bait. Naked. Naked. <sighs> Just let me wear you. We'll walk this world together. Uh, where does Gordon Freeman work? Black Mesa. Yeah. Do you want to hear the actual question? Sure. In the genre-defining sci-fi first-person shooter Half-Life, what is the research facility <laughs> called that theoretical physicist Gordon Freeman has to fight his way through? Oh boy. It should just been where does Gordon Whoa, Freeman work? What's going on here? Slow motion. Oh. <laughs> uh, huh? I'm pressing the button. I'm pressing the button. Uh. Why did she take so uh -huh? long to, to do that? Oh uh, Jesus Christ, man! I don't want to sneak around this guy right now. Bim is the way! Again. There is no future! Let them see. Let them know. Let them feel. Our pain! Hey, hey, hey. Bim is the way. There is no future. There is no pain. Mine. 
You can also hold your breath by like holding in the the, yeah. the stick. Uh oh, or something. there he is. You say that, but what does it mean? Someone pointed out on Twitter that this guy is based off of a Hellboy character whose name oh, I don't really? remember. Yeah, they've got the the little scythe head. They're also uh, like, I mean, the, the scythe head is also in um, oh, Homecoming. Yeah, Homecoming. Those enemies that were kind of cool. They're like cool. That. Schisms. Schisms. Right, cool. That's what they're called. What does the word Atari mean in Japanese? Now that is a oh. quiz question. Now that's a quiz you know, question. I don't remember. Is it like play or something like that? No. What, what does it mean? I don't actually know this one. It, According to them, Atari means to hit the target, mm. or to receive something fortuitously. Uh-huh. Oh boy, every time you die you have to le listen to this whole thing. Oh, fucking cool! Um, in my studies it just means correct. Atari just means correct. You got the answer right. Uh. uh a little game victory. Oh, damn it, I keep standing up instead of holding the button down to breathe. Ah, good. Here it. Ah! Okay, so you're just supposed to bolt it to that fucking door then. I thought I was gonna have to wait for him to turn around or something like that, but instead I just have to. Uh. He can see you in the nightmare world. You're not behind cover in the nightmare I'm world? I'm trying to hide behind cover in the nightmare world, but I guess that doesn't count. What did Notch make? Minecraft. Yeah. The real question is, which blocky sandbox game created by Marcus Knox Person went on to sell over 100 million copies worldwide? Mm hmm Okay, enough questions, I gotta focus All on right, this. All right, focus. That's Am it. I supposed to just fucking sprint towards that door? Not this door. That. But am I supposed to astral project and just sprint to this other one? Because he just kills me after like 10 seconds of trying to hide. But, no, 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 I think you have to astral project. You have to hide your real body, astral project around to get through that door. Yeah, that's what I was trying to do, but... Like, okay. do I just go for yeah, just it? just go. Just go. Oh, fucker. <laughs> oh, oh I would love to see what? where I'm supposed to be going! What? What? Oh, you distracted him. What? Oh my god. What? It's <laughs> happening! What? <laughs> that was this actual solution. I thought I was fucking up. That did not look correct. That did not look correct at all. What the fuck was that? Thomas. You were here. What was that? Feel it. Did we break it? Like what was that the way to go? Yeah, you were just, because I was like, what? where the fuck am I going? I can't see, and it's just a dead end where you let yourself get grabbed by him so that you can run the other way and electrocute him, but... That's supposed to happen? That doesn't feel right. It feels bad, though. It did not feel clever or smart. It felt like I was fucking up. Oh my god, what the fuck is that? It was so confusing to behold, too. It looked wrong, it felt wrong, but it was right. And also, Thomas and Lily lived in this bunker? What is happening? You can play again. I finished the bad sewer wow. level for you. Thank you for doing the sewer level. Did not like the sewer level, gotta say. Ugh. It's laid out in a way just to like be just confusing enough to to pad out some time, I think. Mm. Here's what I know. Uh, I think I know. The powers come from the same place, but they can manifest in different ways. She seems to exist in both places as if her mind can inhabit two bodies at the same time. To her, whatever happens in one place affects the other. Does she see the line between the two, or are they one and the same? New hypothesis, death thins out the veil between worlds so that a newborn mind never has to split. Makes sense in a weird, fucked up way. It's exactly what we were thinking, basically. No, yeah, that's exactly what I said. Um, and I also don't care. Unless there's an, a, another twist later on. Hey, I know this one. Used to be one of my favorites. Are you gonna put two and two together that Thomas is your dad yet? <laughs> She's so slow! Oh my god. Um, I also, you know, speaking of references, I don't appreciate the death's head moth being overused as much as it is, because a moth is not a butterfly, so far as I know, but it's on here, regardless. And mm. those are from uh, Silence of the Lambs. 
and they basically yeah. weren't cool before Silence of the Lambs made them iconic. And it's like, can't we have other things make new stuff iconic? <laughs> like, you know, everything is just troping on the previous iconic things, and I'm just tired. Vitamins. Antibiotics. Are we playing the bunker? Neuroleptics. <laughs> Antidepressants? They're inept. Even by my standards, that's a lot of pills. That's weird because like we haven't seen her take any pills. She's talked about pills once. She it it's never been like a story thing that she has to take pills a lot to to, to combat yeah. her otherworldly powers that she might think is a mental illness or something. Like none of that. Oh uh, great. Fuck yeah. Great, great. Hey, this is a Resident Evil 2 remake puzzle. It sure fucking no. is. Don't do this to me. Burnt to a crisp. Except you need a fuse too, which we didn't do. Spare. Great, great. You just chopped up with some bolt cutters. Great. You're good. Oh, <laughs> well, it opened some doors, so that's cool. God, this game's boring. The thing is, like, a lot of people have been like, oh, it's a return to form for survival horror just because it has fixed camera angles. Yeah. But you know what else survival horror stuff had? Real puzzles. Uh, enemies, weapons, combat, yeah. all of those things existed. Look, there's a perfectly fine fucking axe here. Yeah. And a pickaxe, and a shovel. You can use all of those things. You can dual wield even. You can use all those things in Silent Hill Origins. By the way, apparently, uh, chat was talking about death's head moths, and apparently they squeak and they like to eat honey. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Bust it open. From the inside. I can tell that from my eyeballs. Like, environmental storytelling, I can just see that with my eyes. Yeah, I can piece this together with no other information I, needed. It, you don't even have to zoom in on it. I can be like, wow, something busted this door open from the inside. Yeah. Like, I don't need her to have is a this comment a, about it. Th this is reminding me of, like, how fucking um, oh, Blade yes. Runner had that edit of the movie. She said, oh, yes. She said, oh, yes. She said, oh, yes. Oh, yes. Sorry, I was talking over that. This reminds you of... This reminds me of the Blade Runner edit where they had a, had a, a shitload more narration in it. Oh, no. To tell you... Yeah. Remember that? Yeah, it's bad. It's like this. Yeah. This was definitely Lily's place. Where he kept her. Nice of him to put a childlike wallpaper in the bunker. Yeah. To indicate that this, <laughs> is, the, this is where the baby lived. Wow, this is Alessa's room. Oh fuck, the butterflies in Alessa's room. This is Alessa's room. They're stealing from Silent Hill Silent Hill One. Yeah. Quite the selection. So she could doll herself up with no one to see her. Maybe he meant well, but somehow this just feels sadistic. Shut up. Shut up. I I'm Shut shocked up. that door in the back doesn't have that the, the same the, the tarot symbols. card puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, man, look, it's spooky skulls, spooky skulls and butterflies, and it's almost, it's a Rorschach test. You ever Silent Hill shatter memories? Oh. My good bitch. Salt, who knew it was that simple? A bit of alchemy, some spiritual, spiritual infusion, and there you have it. Looks like the folk tales were true after all. Anyway, the room is ready and it works. It actually works. For the first time in my life, I can feel alone. It feels fucking wonderful. I just gotta banish the dude in my brain with salt, like a fucking normal person, real normal. <sighs> She'd be a grown woman by now, but the room is still all. Dolls and unicorns. It'd be cool if, like, something, ins you know, hinted at that instead of her saying it, but whatever. Mm -hmm. Is that supposed to be Scarlet from Homecoming? That doll with the red dress? No windows into the world. It's something, I guess. Sunshine All the fucking animals have evil like glowing red eyes. What the hell? You look at those animals? I'm trying to read this one. Can't read it. Can't read it's it from weird. here. Yeah, all the little animals have red eyes. They're so cool and evil. Again with the salt. The whole room is lined with it. Where'd they even get salt? Imagine here? being locked up in this place. Having a needle shoved into your arm day in, day out. She was just injecting you her didn't with salt? This, Lily. Did the kid die from, from fucking sodium overdose or what? Also, I have to pee again. 
Okay. Believe it or not, this is like a record. Okay, well, uh, in the meantime... Oh, if I just saying, Lee and I thought it was just like, we're just injecting her with salt, fuck it. In, in the meantime, I will uh, upgrade the skill tree <laughs> with all the skill points we've acquired in this game. Though I'm not saying skill uh, <laughs> a skill tree would necessarily make this game better. I'd probably make it even more obnoxious, actually. Just a, like, uh, Voidberger was playing a little bit of uh, the third Tomb Raider game, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, I think, is the third one. Um, and man, all those Tomb Raider games, like, I kind of enjoy the Tomb Raider reboot series, uh, but I've just never... The parts of the game that are more exploration-based minus the actual, like, tomb puzzles all feel real half-baked to me like they're just there because they need to be because it needs to stretch the game out and like that includes like all the random boxes that you just slap open and then there's just experience points and nothing else interesting inside of them so that you can then get skills that you don't really need from the three different branches like oh man that stuff just bums me out a little bit like, ah, you can breathe more while swimming underwater, but you only do that a couple times throughout the entire game. Can I refill your cocktail? Sure. Okay. That'll be my last one. If I have a third one, I know I will get a headache, though. Okay, you can ask me a gamer trivia while I'm doing that for you. Gamer trivia? Okay. In the original Pokemon games on yes. the Game yes. Boy... something I know! Yes! What is the name of the town in which you begin the game? Correct. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right, here's another question. How big is Gex the Gecko's hog? <laughs> no, sorry. <laughs> sorry, that's not that is not what the card says. That is definitely not what the card says. Just to let you know. <laughs> <laughs> you made me think about it! I'm sorry. No! <laughs> it's a chat chastising you. Uh, it's half laughing at it and half like, Chip, how could you? Wow. 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 Uh, anyways, here's the real question, kind of phrased strangely. What does the word MAME mean, mean to you? M-A-M-E, multiple oh. choice. Does it mean arcade, gaming convention, text-based game variant, or tearing opponents limb from limb? Uh, is, that's th a mean question, but it's, this, it's a homebrew arcade cabinet that you can put multiple different kinds of games on. Yeah, arcade stuff, yes. <laughs> it's a weird question. Uh, that was kind of mean because they might not the person reading it might not spell it for you. Yeah. Ask me one not more. a great question. Uh, Theonora in the chat asking, do we know why Chip likes, loves the, the Gex series? It's literally just because Gex 3, Enter the Gecko, was a game I rented a lot as a kid and really enjoyed. And going back to it now, I appreciate it because it is so... Uh, uh, it is so a, a product of its time, of its era. Oh no, are you spilling stuff there? Yeah, I spilled, I uh, no. made this a little too high up. Oh my up god, it's so I, much. You, got, you gotta sip this though, I'm sorry. Right. Um, and Gex being so incredibly 90s and just something that does not translate to the humor of our time. Even the humor of fucking 10 or 15 years ago. Even when it uh, came out, it was like very much it, a, a, a part of the zeitgeist. It is so <laughs> lame and it's got such like a, a toot about it, like it's cool. It's uh, very, it's instead of Sonic's early 90s toot, it's a weird, pathetic late 90s attitude. Yeah. And that's like um, innately strange. And it's it's still very endearing and charming to me because it's so lame. Sip now. this, Chip. Okay. Uh, take, a, me... take a chip sip. Oh, oh, chip will sip. Because I <laughs> didn't mean to put that much juice that's in a, it. Yeah, that's a lot. It's a lot of juice, I'm sorry. The... Yeah, Run Rusher. Wait, 10 or 15 years ago? Isn't that 2005 to 2010? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, old man. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, question. Yeah, hit me. And the, I, I would have a hard time with this one too because oh. it's a game series that I don't play much. <sighs> Great. In Mortal Kombat, the uh. final boss was the evil Shang Tsung, but can you name the four armed monster who needed beating before him? Oh, fuck. You might know it's just because we watched the movie it's, a year ago. It starts or so with a ago. B, right? No. No? It's, it's. I'll give you a hint. It starts with a G. Oh, it doesn't help. I thought his name was like Baruka or something. No. I don't it know. It starts I with a G. It's four letters. Goro. 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 Correct. Okay. You got it. You, hey. You, you you had that name in the back of your head somewhere. It was it's somewhere. Because, it's because we watched the Mortal Kombat movies a couple of years ago, and we yeah. they were fun. They were they were fun. The first Mortal Kombat movie, genuinely good video game ad adaptation movie. Mortal Kombat two, pretty stupid, I but like, um, it's fun. I like Raul Julia was great. Yeah. He was he was great. Yeah. All right, I got the thingy. I, you know, I didn't even need to go in that room. I could have just got that thingy and went went back to yeah. where you I got, was going. You got close to naming a different Mortal Kombat character, though. There's Baraka. Baraka? <laughs> He's the dude with the teeth. Yes. That's the limit of my uh, Mortal Kombat knowledge, sad to say. <laughs> I never played much Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I just it wasn't around. I, I didn't get exposed to know. it much because that was like the one singular video game. My parents were like, "You can't, play, you're not allowed to play this." <laughs> I understand why, given they, like the the drama in the early '90s about Mortal Kombat. But it's funny. Basically, aside from that, my parents were never like afraid of letting me play games. No, yeah. Uh, and you know, now we're allowed to do the puzzle where you get puzzle. to fifty and you don't get to seventy-five or hundred. Okay, that's like fucking fifteen-ish. Oh okay, yeah, it's too much. Let's turn that off. What is that by itself? Uh, if there's another like one that 30. adds a very tiny amount. Yeah, the, that one, the right work. one. The middle one? No. The, no, that, that, the second one and the fourth one. Oh, not quite. Oh, not okay, quite. Not sure. Not quite chippy. Okay, is this one a big one? Okay, these two and the last one. Yeah. Wow, yeah. that's easy! That is pretty easy. Pathetic. Pathetic puzzle. <laughs> This puzzle trembles before me. Captain Dingus. Nice oh, wait. Very uh, minimalist. Shut up, bitch. What are you saying? Uh, Captain Dingus was talking about like his first M-rated game he ever played. What, do you remember what the first uh, M-rated game you played was? Oh my god, no. No? Mine was... M-rated. The very first M-rated game I ever played was uh, Zone of the Enders. That's actually mm, M-rated, really? despite the first Zone of the Enders not being particularly violent. It's just because some kids get crushed by a robot at the very start of the game. And there's you know, blood I'm everywhere. really, I'm really not sure. I'd really have to think about this. I'm sure that Silent Hill 2 was one of the first mm -hmm. for me. Silent Hill 2 was my first Silent Hill game, and I played it when I was 16. But I feel well, like actually, there must have, there must have been one or two other M-rateds before that. But I truly. I really didn't dabble in the violent games mm. and stuff like that, or the horror games before. Before Silent Hill 2, I didn't play any horror games, yeah. and I didn't have like a PC. What capable. got you into Silent Hill 2? Um, my very, very first boyfriend, Alex. Oh yeah, that's right. He introduced he you was, to that. He uh, was super goth. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and uh, one of the first things uh, we were getting to know each other at art class. Yep. He uh, said he. I was talking about. We were talking about horror stuff, horror movies and stuff like that, and he brought up um, Aliens, mm. uh, the movie, and I mentioned uh, xenomorphs. Like I said the word xenomorphs, and like his eyes lit up. And he, was, <laughs> he was like, "I've never, I've never heard anyone call them by their real name." <laughs> <laughs> Great. And that's how I bagged my first man. Um, he was abusive, uh, turns yeah, out. Yeah, it's too bad he sucked. <laughs> he too sucked. bad he sucked. <laughs> that guy fucking sucked. Um, he was obsessed with David Lynch and Cronenberg and showing me inappropriate movies. Yeah. Um, basically, like, porn from Japan and shit like that. Some, yeah. some hentai, some live action. Um, but a lot of art, like, quote, unquote, high art movies and shit like that. Yeah, Very yeah, pretentious yeah. dick. Um... But he and very, you to very Silent goth. Hill too. But one of the first things he did as like a friendship move was he I was I was we were talking about horror stuff and he was like, Have you played Silent Hill? And yeah. I was like, No, what's that? And he was like, Oh, oh my god, I'll next time at class I'll bring you this game and you can borrow it for one week. Oh hi, Slow Beef. 
Hey, Slowbeef, what's up? He says, my wife just said, what's a xenomorph? Oh, bless her heart. <laughs> I love her. Um, but he lent me Silent Hill 2 when I was 16. Uh, for literally one week, that's how I, it should have been the first pink or red flag that he was not willing. He gave you a, uh, only a week to play it? Yeah, he gave me only a week like to- Like a fucking to, rental store? Yes, he gave me only a week to dabble with Silent Hill 2. And yeah. like and like a, a bitch, I brought it back to him when, I, when the week was up. Because I didn't want to make mad the guy I had a little bit of yeah, a crush yeah, on. Yeah. So, um... Yeah, and I got up to um, the apartment building, like, about halfway through. I met Pyramid Head, yeah. and, like, Pyramid Head captivated me. And I was like, I have to just buy this game for myself. So, like, I, I returned the game to it, and I bought it myself, and I played the whole thing. And I was like, this is the most incredible thing I've ever played in my life. I played it in my basement with, like, no lights on. Uh. It was a whole thing. It was, like, the way to play it when you're 16. It was so cool. Um Silent Hill 2 fucking holds up. It really does hold up. I really want to replay it on PC with like ray tracing or something. Because I saw Bob, I saw you post the screenshots <laughs> of the game with ray tracing. It's like a subtle but incredible improvement to that game's lighting. Anyways, let's get back to this. Sorry, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, Pyramid Head was more of a gentleman than my first boyfriend. He was a dickhead, I gotta tell ya. Mm -hmm. But he, he introduced me to Silent Hill, and I got All to right. see uh, Battle Royale. Okay. Because of him, you know, it was, it was a forward of time. I don't. I, I, you know, he was a horrible person to me, very abusive, very gaslighty before the term gaslighting was popular, I gotta say. Uh -huh. Um, huh. Mold. But, uh, hey, my it taste. pretty fresh. Fresh mold. Someone's been here recently. <laughs> what? Fresh mold, someone's been here recently? What the fuck are you talking about? Also, hey, it's the cup from the intro, which means that this is the place that oh, she this, has this that interaction that. with. Yeah, this is where she's They doing think that I'm from. stupid. They think I haven't noticed this incredibly strange cup that she drinks from. Mm. <laughs> That's amazing. No, yeah. The opening cutscene. It happens here, I think. <laughs> this mold is fresh. Someone must have been here recently. That's hilarious. You read this one. It's quiet now, just me and her. Just me and her. It feels strange, but in a good way. How it should be. I best enjoy it while it lasts. Already started moving the workshop over to the hotel. If anything happens, I don't want her anywhere near it. I'm going in soon, to get him back. This only ends in one of two ways. Either both of us are coming back, or neither. Okay. God, this is so boring because like it's th they're not even intriguing. they're not even letting me in on any of it, and it's just like you just have to guess, and it's just like well, it's probably this guy, but I don't care. Just tell me. So what I dis what I dislike about these notes just use is names. how much is just me or, or not me, uh, but like her, him. she, him, and all. Ca it's like none of that is interesting. You gotta give me some names at some point. It's awful. This is like reading. This is, this is like how some shitty anime does intrigue. <laughs> this is like that how, man. how this is like how when somebody um, emo posts on Facebook or Twitter or back in the day MySpace. Yeah. How they were super vague and just use pronouns and no names. Yeah. And it's like, what do you have a crush on them? Just yeah, fucking yeah, name yeah. names. Shut the fuck up. Vague posting. Yeah, a certain person. Shut up. <laughs> All right, let's try a barrel through the rest of this. If I places, I might be able to get to the other no. side. No! Better get to it, Alice. Shut oh, the fuck boy. up! All right, like three pieces to get. Yeah. I feel like we like keep going on really big tangents, so let's try to. Mm, here's okay. one. Here's one. So far, so good. <laughs> oh boy. Yep. Oh man. Hmm. Yep, for those joining in, this is basically uh, we're, we're, near, near the end of we're, the game. Yeah, we're apparently getting closer to the end of, the, of this <clears> game. <throat> so, uh, we went through the uh, sewer level, which was just... I can't believe I can't move this mirror back and get a chunk of mirror from this mirror. Yeah. And yeah, sorry we're, we're drinking... Um, if people are mean to us in the comments on the VOD, uh, fuck you. <laughs> We're doing our best. I think you gotta go forward more. I know, I just, I had this little inkling that, what if they're being mean and putting something near the yeah, camera? that'd be dumb. I mean, I can't, we came from there, though, so. I know. Uh, here we go. There. 
another one. I miss when this game had one jump scare. Like, I would really <laughs> go for a jump scare right about now because I am so bored. I it, need it's, something it's, to wake me up. It's shocking that they only went for that once. Only one time. And, like, generally, if a game one. went for less... Jump scares, I would think like, oh, they're being reserved and like, you know, actually being kind of tactful with their scare. But there's been no scares! Nothing! What's this radio do? This game is so boring. It says, uh, uh, James, why did you kill me? Oh, it's just the Akira Yamaoka station. Whatever. <laughs> I'm more used to the Mary Elizabeth McGlynn station, so mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take a shit to this. Bob says, I don't want to say it, but that radio PT. PT. <laughs> it's a cool track. Oh, I thank like, you like for track. all the bits, Slowbeef. Oh, Slowbeef, thank you. Says, I know, we should play Siren. I've we should play Siren. It. Oh, Slowbeef, right. I, I saw you tweeting about Siren a while ago, because I think you were playing on PS4, right? So... I think there was like some weird issue where you could buy it and try to download it, but it was like a, a PS Now only game and it was broken. Honey, is this Mary Elizabeth McGlynn? Hmm. That's her. That's her. Bob says Mary- I fucking called it! Mary Elizabeth McGlynn engage is what Bob just said. Slamming <laughs> the couch. Oh man. Fuck me. Fuck me. Is this DMCA? <laughs> yeah, who's singing with her? Who could it be? Troy Baker! Is it Troy Baker? No. Uh, no, is it the other guy who did Joe the Joe Romerza? No, it doesn't sound like Joe Romerza. Joe Romerza has a deeper voice. These scars I no, it's, it's Troy. Troy. It's Troy. That's not Troy. That, that's not fucking Joe Romerza. He's too deep. I was wondering if they got even more Silent Hill people. Joe Ramirez is hardly a Silent Hill person, but sure. Oh boy. What the fuck? Why is the the fucking creature, the critter, singing here? Yeah, Bob just confirmed that it's it's Troy, singing that. You know, from what I've heard, of this song it fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like. And it keeps this. going through the pause screen. I don't, I don't like it. I don't like this song. Why can't we run? Can't we run? Well. Ocelot, shut up. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna shut that off because I'm gonna get DMCA. Uh, yeah, it's, this is gonna be hella DMCA, so. Oh boy. Like, literally, I can't afford it. I'm a YouTuber. <laughs> don't do this. That's almost cool. I feel bad. But <laughs> you can just turn it off, you know? Um, what a shame. Just what a shame. I love hearing, you know, Akira shit. I have a fondness for Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Uh, Troy Baker, not so much, but I like hearing men sing stuff. Like, you know, look at Hades, please. And uh, that's a shame because YouTube's gonna be like, no, you can't, I'm gonna tag this as uh, you can't do that. Looks like he could never quite let go of his passion. <laughs> In another life, perhaps. What, am I supposed to know he's an architect? <laughs> I think we I think learned came about up th once. That came up forever ago once. once. Ever. Yes, that he was an architect. Wow, guess he couldn't give up his passion even when he was in a bunker. Ooh, Bob says the next game he's streaming, by the way, is Hades. Oh, Bob, have you played any? Hades is amazing. Hades is a very good game. I fucking love Hades. Like, if you want me to be on that stream, hit me up. I have advice, but I won't spoil anything. He hasn't played it. Just, oh my God! Just to make sure it works. Dude, dude. No, like, you should just play it. It's really good. It's Hades so good. is quite good, it's yeah. It's so good. Fooled by randomness. Oh, man. I'm so wacky and random. <laughs> Go ahead. She almost saw me today, sensed me. I should have known. I need to be more careful. Keep my distance. Crossed out, it's just that. Crossed out, I just. Not a day goes by that I don't think of her. Crossed out, I think. I know I did the right thing leaving her at the hospital. It's better this way. She's better this way. 
But I keep thinking of that day when it finally happens, when she discovers what she really is. She'll be confused, afraid. I should be there for her, to help her make sense of it all, to tell her that it's right. No! She'll make it through. She's strong, <laughs> just like her mother. Fucking okay, whatever. I, I do not care! I just... I cannot care! Don't! <laughs> Don't! Don't. Well, that's the guy who fucking raised me, so yep. yeah, dude. How come she doesn't have anything to say about that? Yeah, why didn't she? That is the she, thing where she should say something about she, something, right? Of all the things, of all the things we have picked up throughout this game, that is something she should have now, something to say about! Because she has said nothing here, I still don't know if this chick has figured out that Thomas is her fucking dad. Her dad! But even if she hasn't figured out that Thomas is her dad, which he uh, he obviously fucking is, why would she not comment I swear on to the God. business card of her oh, adoptive father man. being in this bunker? That is fucking weird. Even if she's the dumbest woman on earth, she should comment about that. Mm -hmm. Which she is. She's the dumbest person on earth. At least in all of Poland. There you should go. be enough. Let's make magic happen. Let's make magic happen. Chip okay. <laughs> Gypsies, let us make the magic happen. All right, here we go. This was definitely Thomas's workspace. <laughs> I can sense the determination. Whatever he was working on, he really gave it his all. I mean, you can tell he did because, I mean, look, there's red string. <laughs> Were you trying to send the monster away? Or to get your other self back? This is the least complicated um, conspiracy theorist board I've ever yeah, seen. Yeah, there, to be honest, there's very few points, and also the points don't actually, like... They don't go to things. I mean, okay, they're linked up to some of the papers and pictures, but, like... <laughs> I can't zoom in on any know. of it, so. This is a picture of Marianne. Yeah. I... Okay. There's some, like, right. Kabbalah stuff. Look at that weird lamp. That's what I'm interested in. That's a weird lamp. It's kind of a weird lamp. <laughs> Mm-hmm. I can't look at or read any of this. Like Sick Boy 36 says, everything's made up and the points don't matter. <laughs> Hypothesis. When experiencing trauma, the soul can split into two separate entities in ba, order ba, to ba, ba, cross out, deal with the, mitigate the damage. Observation. The entities can remain crossed out friendly, agreeable, or turn hostile towards each other. How to destroy one without destroying the other? Ba, 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 da. Ba, ba, wow, ba, da, da. it's like we're getting confirmation for a thing we've known for hours in ba, da, this game. Ba, da, ba, da, ba, da, ba, 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 oh, Bob, you missed this note? You guessed right. Ba, da, da, da. Do, 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 do. And like, it's do, 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 fine do, 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 to have a game or a story do, 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 or a narrative or whatever, do, 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 do. like confirm your theories much later on and that can be satisfying, but this is just so clear cut that it's just like, <laughs> if you didn't give us the note that confirms that, like I would still go, no, this is factually 100% what is happening. Uh -huh. <laughs> you guessed right. What a shock. To, I love I mean, to guess right. I mean, it's not like, to be clear, because I can just see people being like, wow, you just want a game to be mysterious up until the final fucking point, like blah, blah, blah. Because you can understand what it's going for, that means that it's telling the story correctly. I'm going to say, uh, shut the fuck up. Uh, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that I guessed this like three hours ago, a long time ago. I, I dislike how... A long time ago. Uh, I dislike how... Is there anything forward? Yeah, probably. I dislike how... Um, how just how frequently we nope. oh right it's this place nope yeah never mind um yeah bob saying this game's obsessed with confirming everything about its yeah. lore yeah uh i i like we have to do it but i dislike how frequently we have to reiterate or express certain things just so that we can mitigate certain types of YouTube comments. I know, I hate that, but it's um, a thing. Because we've just done these videos long enough that we know certain statements are going to generate certain YouTube comments unless we explicitly <sighs> they make it very fucking clear. Like, yes, this can be done fine. I don't think all blank is... And there it was. Uh, is, is whatever. The moment we finally met. Oh, oh, uh -oh. Uh -oh. okay, phew. Okay. Wow, the frames, they be dropping. 
Drop it like it's hot. And I also said that, like, I don't know if I said this on stream, but I was wondering if uh, this Marianne is different than the other Marianne and not the same person, but they're just agreeable yeah. with each other. That's yeah, also yeah. that's also confirming something for me there, which is mm -hmm. obvious. It's you. Papa. Thomas. Uh oh, desync the audio. Desync. Yes. Okay, now it's fine. Wait. You're the other one. The spirit. Better lip sync in this cutscene. A little reason. bit better, yeah. The hound. The hound. I thought you were gone. He didn't no. introduce himself. No, no. Trapped. Is this guy not Mr. Scratch anymore? He was previously in the 70s. I spent years in Henry's fucked up world. Henry's. Oh. Ah. When you, you sent him away, I could, I could finally break free. That's why you're so important. You can finish this. Where is he? Where is my father? Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's... I, I don't know. I... <clears throat> um. For the first time in my life, I... The facial animation is way better for this it's specific so cutscene. It's so much better. It's fine. They this did one. this one earlier. You can tell. I've been away for so long. When they had more uh, chutzpah to put into uh, development. <sighs> Could you? Yep. Could you stay? Mm -hmm. For a moment. Tell me. Uh, how I'm all this started. Yeah, the lip flap, the lip sync, the facial acting is way better in this scene. Way yeah. better. Yeah. Honestly, it would be better if the real world wasn't even here in this cutscene. <laughs> I agree. Well, here's the start of the game. We're stuck here forever. <laughs> the game's starting over. We'll be here forever. It all starts with a dead girl. Her like socially acceptable burn mark is like something that makes me mad. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> Like, we're not allowed to have, like, a lady with a, an actual real deal scar on her face. Mm -hmm. Her fake uh, cigarette in the, the <laughs> alternate dimension. Mm -hmm. Now there's a quiz show about who's who <laughs> and what's yeah. what. Yeah, Grunty's here. Da -da 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 -da. He couldn't have what? Complete a sentence, please! I'm begging you to complete a sentence. <laughs> so, what happened to her? What is this place? This is where he kept her. That cell back there. It only exists in one world. Keeps the other one out. He built it so that he could be alone. It's the only place he could <sighs> yeah, if you could hit a button and flip between cutscenes, that would be neat. That would be cooler. I feel like some other game has done that. 
I don't know what. I feel like that must already exist. Came in handy once Lily became unstable. Yeah, MGS3 lets you look around sometimes. Yeah. yeah, first person. Mm. What do you mean? She's a medium too, Marianne. I know. A powerful. Oh, the other half is Lillian, not the other half of her, which She's I think would be better. Family. <clears throat> when Richard. When Richard. Her. Wow, she got powers because she got molested. Fucking cool! Great. Fucking cool as hell! Great. Great! Something terrible. Fuck you. And it was only a matter of time before it got out. <laughs> it's what your father feared. What he tried to avoid. <laughs> That's why he called me. But that means that... Yes. She's still alive. There's still a way to save her. You have to find her, Marianne. Where is she? Where is my sister? You know where. The lake. Oops, I put the controller down. <laughs> <clears throat> Time to run. I'm not leaving you. No. So, so did her dad like get exchanged with this guy? Because he seems nicer than what was ex what mm -hmm. what happened in the seventies. Yeah. Lily's not dead, or what? I don't. How is she not dead? If, it, if she's if she's a little girl ghost, I don't know. The chat's confusing me at this point. All I know is I gotta run from the the creepy crawly man, M man lady, ballerina. Trans allegory? I don't know. I don't like that critter. <laughs> Spirit Thomas got changed by Henry and his world. That doesn't make sense. It should have just been an equivalent exchange between real world Thomas and bad man Thomas. What, I don't get chased? Yeah, the fact that the the... the the creature isn't a trans allegory is ridiculous because of the masculine voice and the feminine body. None of that makes a ton of sense to me. <laughs> I thought that's what they might have been going for, but uh, do be a seem. solid and stay in this area and listen to the audio. Okay, we will. What audio? No music. No. No music, Bob. No music. Go up a bit. Oh. Alright, let's see what this is. Ship mate like this. Not looking at the chat. I don't want to know if someone guesses it early, whatever this is. <laughs> what? Uh oh. Oh no! <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oopsie doopsie. Oh no! <gasps> Fucking whoops! It just cuts off! <gasps> no! No! Fuck yeah. To be fair, I wouldn't be surprised if this bug was caught, but it was deemed uh, very low stakes because it doesn't break anything and most players are gonna just go ahead straight immediately 
and probably never hear the loop glitch. Oh, it glitched and looped again because you're. It's an entertaining never... glitch for sure. Uh, uh. But I can absolutely see why it was probably not fixed, <gasps> even if it was caught, because it's a thing that most people probably won't hear. Hey! But. Amazing. Still, Amazing. that's still fun. Uh, Video games are hard to make. Video games are hard, but Jesus Christ. God. This is it. <sighs> it's fucking Mary Elizabeth McGlynn again. Bob says, also, if you go up and get further into the song and come back, it hard loops just like that. The place from my dream. I've walked this path a thousand times in my mind. I know every inch of it. But this time, something is different. I guarantee this was caught in development, and it was just like, no, nah, we gotta push this out. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Yeah, there it goes. Oh, it hurts! Oh, it hurts! They couldn't just, like, have a tail end to that? They're like, she's like, oh, this is the... where my dream happened. It all started with a dead girl. Ah. But it's like... That happened so far in the past for us, the player, and it was at night, and it's, it doesn't have any remarkable um, aspects to it. So why would we recognize it or, or assign any, you know, emotion to it? Mm -hmm. VBM literally predicting the script word for word. Great. I love to. I love to predict the script. One of my favorite pastimes. <laughs> I'm getting close. I can feel it. I, yeah, we're I gonna get to the pier. So you know. Finally, we're gonna finish this piece of shit game! The horse I, looks nice right now. I don't care. <laughs> yeah, like, I hated this. I hated this so much. Mm -hmm. There, There's no amount of Akira Yamaoka music that can, um make a game that is bad be good somehow. There's no way. Mm -hmm. Apparently there's mega yikes ahead. It's yikes o'clock. Incoming bullshit, I cannot wait. Okay. Oh, buckle up everybody, it's gonna be upsetting. Love it. Ruin, ruin my night, please. <laughs> It seems so late for more bullshit, you know? We've already had so much bullshit. How can there be even more of it? Mm -hmm. Hey, Lily, can we have a boss fight on the lake? <laughs> <laughs> like a fire versus ice or fire versus water, maybe? That'd be cool as hell. You finally made it. It's so stupid that we got three mol- Three masks for you, little sister. Three masks, and they're never for her, the really quote unquote I, dead girl. I didn't know. Did getting raped make, make part of her I dead? Can't remember, I'm so sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it was better that way. At least you had a life. <laughs> she looks like shit. Oh boy. It's the other half that of the day. necklace. Uh -huh. That day when the fire broke out at our house. You can buy a new sweater, I girl. <laughs> she does not look related to to Marianne. No. That was tormented. Was set loose. 
She looks like a child with old lady makeup on. <laughs> <laughs> looks like I shit. To save you. <laughs> it helped us escape the flames. But in return, that makes no sense. This I sucks. Set it free. Free to devour. <laughs> what does that to mean? Destroy. <laughs> to kill. Word, yeah. The Neva massacre. The yeah. monster did that. <laughs> what? All those people <laughs> died. So that we could live. I thought the fucking anti-communist did that. <laughs> that doesn't make sense. <laughs> because I lived. So did my demons. Yeah, her head is way too big for her body. Mm -hmm. Father knew my powers were too dangerous. He left you at the hospital so you could have a normal life. <laughs> well, guess what? Didn't me. happen. Did he try to... No. Maybe he should have. What? Done what? Excuse he me? He bring himself to do it. To do what? Instead, Kill her. He but why him. would she ask? <laughs> mm -hmm. She's here. She's not dead. Why would she ask that? Monster. He got out. And now you're here. Ah. You're the only one who can feel ah. <laughs> Okay. No! share our father's gifts but also his fate this fucking sucks <laughs> and the dream the dream they don't look related like no. she's all fucked up looking <laughs> all i see is a girl you shot dead here on this pier <laughs> hasn't it already happened no Nope. If she pulls out a gun, she prepared for this fully loaded, ready to go. Like, <laughs> ch -ch -ch so past, you see the dream. It's what I want. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck you. Fuck you. <laughs> Fuck yeah, you. she's just got a gun ready to fucking go. <laughs> Fuck she's you. just ready to get blasted by a fucking gun. It all ends in her, in me. Fuck you, pack and heat. No. no, you can't send a spirit away while the host is still alive. That's why that sucks. You destroy the monster. That sucks. That's why sadness didn't want to go. Dude. Fuck you. Sadness is you. You're my sister. That's why it has to be you. Fuck you. I I'm not strong enough. Fuck you! What the fuck? Mm. Fuck you. Only you can end this. Only you can prevent Only forest you fires. Can fix what our father could not. <laughs> Liana, Shut up. Please, don't make I'm me sorry. do it. It's the only way to destroy it. Hey, you sister. This is the first time we've ever met. But I need you to shoot me. Hey, soul sister. Shoot me in the face. On this pier. What's going on? Ugh. Fuck you. Light almost gone. Stupid. Stupid. Uh-huh. Why were they rendering this twice no. instead of just having a pre-recorded cutscene? No! <laughs> what? Shut up! Shut up! Like you said. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck you, Persona. <laughs> Fuck you! A medium strong enough to sustain you. No. They only lasted for so long. Makes no sense. Makes no sense. 
Sucks. This is my story after all. What? Stop doing this. Please, sister. This sucks. This sucks. Hey, soul sister. Oh, if only they had a good plot to back up this this dual screen thing. Mm -hmm. Can't always save it would have been good if the plot weren't Garbo. Yeah. Garbo. Anyway, tune in for the medium two to see who she shot. Uh huh. <gasps> and it's a fucking it starts with a dead girl. Ambiguous ending. G yeah. Bazinga. Yeah, fade to black, gunshot. <gasps> cheap! Fucking cheap! Dude! And they gave me a Chivo! Dude. Give me a Chivo! Dude, dude! I gotta I gotta take my glasses off for this. Uh, I don't want to be able to see the screen clearly anymore. Should have done that an hour ago. Fuck all these people. Not all these people, but I mean, fuck A lot them. of people are just... Ugh, a lot of these people are just working in a place. They're just getting a paycheck. I, I oh my say, god, fuck that. I would say, uh, <laughs> fuck the writing. Fuck the writers. Fuck Criti the writing Critically acclaimed, critically acclaimed. Oh. There's a post credit scene. That means I have to pee now. Oh, good. Okay, get going. Why am I peeing for a fifth freaking time? Because you drank some stuff. Oh my god, it's ridiculous. You got you gotta go a lot. I don't know. Vent about stuff while I'm gone. Oh man, um, so uh, there's a lot of issues to bring up with that ending. Uh, j just from a um, just from a narrative standpoint, not even really getting into too much with how poorly it's handling. Uh, issues that even I feel uh, I can I would not be able to you know I feel like even I can barely talk about most of this shit because I feel like I'm not the the person to but uh, hey it kind of sucks that uh, the game spends a significantly larger amount of time uh, trying to humanize the pedophile and why he became a pedophile Whereas the protagonist's literal sister gets about 10 minutes total of footage and it's just like, Hi, I'm your sister. Uh, please shoot me in the face. Okay, thank you. And that's it. Like... Why... Like, I'm, I'm sure one of the possible answers for this could be, Oops, we ran out of time and it was out of scope. But wouldn't it be better to say, cut out the entire sewer level or make the pedophile brain level yeah. smaller so you could make a level where you go into your sister's brain to humanize her and the, but also- Oh, you're so right, you're so also, right. But also like that would have been very poorly handled too. Cause then it's just a Psychonauts level where it's just like every audio log that plays is just about a girl being molested by a, an older man. But I'd rather that happen than like get into the brain and humanize pe a pedophile. That's true. Yeah, it, it literally, it spends with, two hours humanizing with, a pedophile and ten with, minutes with the girl. It humanizes a pedophile with the Holocaust. Like, that's gross as fuck. Yeah, that's really bad. Like, not only are they humanizing a pedophile, but they are humanizing him via the Holocaust. Wasn't, also, the, wasn't the Holocaust so bad? Also, I agree uh, with Regina Catbat. Cut out the KGB agent Psychonauts level. What was the point of that level? It was nonsense. It was just to it look was cool. Pretty, it was an hour long about, I think. And it yeah, was, just cut that out and do something with your sister instead. It was just you to gotta, look cool. You gotta get your foot off this cable. I it's, don't have my foot on the cable. It, you touched it and it made a squealing noise come into my headphones. I'm sorry. Um, all this is very bad. Um, Why would they humanize the pedophile? That's like the most insane decision. In the whole <sighs> game, I think the thing that pisses me off the most is using the Holocaust to humanize a pedophile. Mm, what the music the... is too loud, by the way. Okay, sure. It is loud in my headphones, too. I actually turned it down in my own headphones. <sighs> I don't know if you'll, you'll get a The Medium Sucks video essay specifically. It's but, so hard that it's like I don't even want to think or talk about it. 
Yeah, I don't want to think about it more than I need to. The I think I so think, gross. Like I think if I were to make a video essay about the medium, it would be in a kind of ancillary way where it's just like, hey, here's why fixed camera angles does not make a survival horror game a classic survival horror game. This was not a scary game. There was a single jump scare in it. The ambient the ambiance was nowhere to be found. It wasn't yeah. interesting, intriguing, creepy, none of that shit. This was only a little haunted house that had a single jump scare in it. It was weak as fuck in regards to actually in eliciting a scared or anxious no, reaction out of me. Zero atmosphere. Yeah, zero atmosphere. I knew it was Mary Elizabeth McGlynn. Fuck you. <laughs> yep. And Troy Baker. Look at that. Um, but... And it's uh, isn't it such a... By the way, just real quick. Isn't it such a shame that we got Akira Yama, Yamaoka and Mary Elizabeth McGlynn back to do this. songs again, and it ends up sucking. Oh, the, the depiction of the spirit world was inspired by the works of Since All Best Since Game. Oh, no shit. You, are you gonna credit everything else you stole? Are you? Are you gonna credit all the Silent Hill games? No? What a, what a, what a weird situation. Damn. Ugh, anyway. What was I even talking about? I'm just mad. I'm just mad. I'm just mad. <sighs> but I think if I were to make a video essay about this, it would be about how fixed camera angles are not important to survival horror. This game is not horror and it is not survival because there is no inventory management. Okay. Anyway, what, here, what here's happens? a post credit scene. Let's be quiet for this where, part. Where she has a kid for no reason or some shit. Yeah. She was pregnant the whole time, turns out. Mm-hmm. The medium is our biggest and most <laughs> ambitious game that we have made so far. It's a close and personal project that was years in the making. We poured our souls into it, and we've made a lot of great memories during the development. However, as great, great as it is to make games, we do what we love with one person in mind, and that's you. Your thoughts mean a lot to us, and they make us better developers. This is why we would love to hear your impression of the medium. Uh, we got to log into stuff, though. Uh, oh, okay. Just a star rating. We got to use the mouse for this. Where's the mouse is right there. Fucking One star. Boop. Thank you. Sorry to say, one star. Oh no. And then they give you a different cutscene based on how many stars you give. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sucks. This Death Stranding, it all started with a bang. <laughs> it all started with a baby. Here's some crabs. There's another explosion. That explosion. Yeah, we never got to see the pocket watch. Yeah, we didn't find out what happened to her dad. Nope. Here he is, I guess. I don't know. Who cares? Who fucking cares? Honestly. Hi. Okay. This is the real world dad. Is that supposed to be the sequel hook? That's the real world dad, not Spirit Thomas. Cool, who cares? Yeah. Oh, it's over. Holy shit. Man. It's over. Man, this game sucks. This game fucking bro. blew chunks. Bro, this game sucks. Oh. This is. I am trying to think. We still have like 20 or 30 gamer <sighs> questions yeah. left. We could save it for more streams too, you know. We no. don't need to finish them. What? <laughs> <sighs> we could finish them. I'm sorry, I'm yawning, and I <laughs> it's because of the uh, this game. It's not even late. It's Here's ten o'clock. It's ten o'clock. I feel like I'm a thousand years old. It it feels like it's three a.m. I'm so yeah. tired. This this game is. Without a doubt, the most boring horror game yeah. I've ever played Out of in any my horror life. Game I've ever played. Yeah, this is absolutely the most boring one. Oh, this is uh, outrageously boring. I, I cannot believe how they were able to stretch a plot so thin to be about six ish, seven ish hours. Um, bo it was a borer game. You're right. This is so boring. I, 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 I'm. <laughs> Amazed. Uh, Barbus in the chat says, So the dad transported his body into the spirit realm using the pentagram from the dark room. 
but you would never get this without playing it, it without playing it at least like twice. And who oh wants my to do that? god, from the dark room at the start almost, dude, that sucks. That sucks. Also, C Sharp saying, so if killing herself is a viable solution to the problem of the monster, then just not getting involved was a solution, and that makes the plot entirely pointless. Your character's involvement either yeah. didn't matter or made things yeah. worse. Yeah, just stay home. Why did you go to the fucking, why did you go to the resort? Who cares? Yeah. There was no reason for her to go there. If Thomas said at the start when he called her, hi, it's your dad, that yeah. would have been an intrigue point. That would have been a reason to go there. That would have been a reason to keep going through yeah. this weird shit. I feel like every other survival horror game, and I mean every other one, mm -hmm. practically, has a, re a reason for you to be doing the things you're doing. Yeah. Because you're usually, if it's a good survival horror game, you're playing a regular Joe. Why would a regular person deal with this bullshit? And the answer is because someone they love is on the line. Silent Hill 1, you have Cheryl. Silent Hill 2, you have Mary. Silent Hill 3, you have the revenge plot because your dad freaking died and you want to get revenge also, on him. From and Silent Chat Hill 4, you have no choice. You have to go out there. And that's why Silent Hill 4 is the most weak yes. in regards to actually being intrigued. It's like the only thing going on dude. is I don't know what's going on I'm just a dude yeah. you have to have an emotional hook to it and there was an easy emotional hook here because the guy that fucking called you was your fucking biological father don't you give a shit about that do you yeah. care the fact uh, that your 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 other dad died does not matter at all. It could have been a fucking cat for all it matters yeah. Jack dying does not matter there's a middle point where the maw which apparently is that guy's name. It was never the, mentioned. The, the creature, yeah. The creature, Troy Baker, is like, oh, Jack says hello. It doesn't matter. That shit doesn't matter, yeah. At all. And, like, we, as players, do not have a personal relationship with Jack, which could have been a thing that happened via environmental design, via flashbacks. flashbacks. Anything. Anything! None of it matters. There's no emotion in this game at all. As the game itself said, this is an emotional graveyard. It is like total fucking failure on that front. 